Alrighty, soldiers, good day to everyone. Sergeant Fury here. Sunday, the 18th. Lock to lock. Oh, crap, I need. Days are just going by. Timmy D, are you going to get back on Wildland Solos? Um, possibly Timmy, Timmy D. Good morning if they ever decide to actually have new ones. You, you realize I've done all those challenges like over a thousand times, literally. All the challenges. So the fact that if I go on every day and do the same challenges again and again and again, all I'm doing is adding to the 1,500 plus videos. So I have 1,500 videos on YouTube, and the majority of those are wildlands, and they're all duplicates. So how many times am I supposed to shoot, you know, Nitty of Flores? I got, there's like 42 Nitty of Flores missions, right? You know, you see where I'm going, bro? All I have to do is put the same video up and change the date on there and do a voiceover and say, oh, good morning, it's Sergeant Fury, it's November 1st, 2020, here's today's challenges. I mean, I don't actually have to do the videos, I have all the videos. So you guys would know that I, it wasn't even me live. All I have to do is sit there and do a little voiceover and say, oh yeah, this is what you gotta do. You wouldn't know. So, I have so many videos up already, bro. Me doing them again and again and again is getting a little redundant. I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. I'm not getting anywhere, right? 
Okay, whenever you launch the game, PC restarts using kernel error. Okay. First thing you want to do is, is do a, a system. You want to open up a DOS prompt, right? Correct? DOS prompt. Yeah, so it's not like I don't want to do them, though. Alright, you want to open up a DOS box disk and put this in there. Alright, open what? DOS. A DOS command box. DOS. A DOS command box. Hey, good morning, Thomas. Put that in there. Uh, administrator privilege. Hey, PS Prototype, man. Good morning, bro. Everybody's showing up today, man. Just gonna, we're going to check your system files first to make sure everything's okay. Let's do that first. That'll take a couple minutes to scan. And then we'll figure out what's going on. So let's do that first. Let's try to figure out why you're shooting me. Dude, you better get out of my way. I got a freaking mini gun. Call take no prisoner mode. In case you guys are wondering. PS prototype. Okay, so once we do that, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do your video. We're gonna do um, we're gonna go to the your after that gets done. We're gonna go to the Windows. You know, to the Windows update and have it scan for updates. And let's see if there's anything that needs to be installed. Now, have you rebooted your computer lately? Like, did you do any updates or anything? Or you just got up and decided to play a game and the computer started acting stupid? So I'm assuming that's what, that's what it did. I don't know where. I don't like to be. Wow, it's already done already, she devil Okay, go into your, you know, open up um, settings, go to Windows Update, and have a check and see if there's any updates that need to be done right now. Cool. No, don't worry about that. Don't worry about this. It's only delivering supplies, she devil It's not a big deal. He's taking supplies. Supplies to the club, man. Nobody's gonna bother me. Club's right there, man. Easy, easy, man. Yeah, well, let's open up, um, like I said, open up settings. Let's check windows and see if there's any stupid updates that it wants to do. Or maybe get me down. I'm not doing it. Yeah, Thomas, that was that guy that had that Ram truck. And I was getting ready to do that last. Yeah, that was that last one. I had that stupid whatever he was doing. This is how it was raining me yesterday, just like this, and today it's all night. Nice. Okay. Yeah, there's no biggie to that. I'm just taking this truck over here. I don't know why this truck's acting so stupid today. Usually this truck guy's normal today. It's like sliding all over the place. And so I'm saying, he's a piece of 
Ah, there you go. That can cause your computer to crash if Windows has an update. I know that sounds stupid, Chi Devil, but I've had more problems sometimes because Windows gets stubborn and it wants to do an update. So do that update first, right? Let's get all that out of the way. And once it's all updated, then we're going to go and I'm going to have you check your video drivers because there's new AMD video drivers that are out. We're gonna well, at least they know. to put your new video drivers in. Sound like a plan? Everyone? So PS Prototype, man. What's going on in Israel, man? You're going to give us the Israeli this report this morning? Who else is here that I didn't say hello to? Oh, that's it. Just PS Prototype, Hell She Devil, Thomas, Lee, and whoever the other four people are. Good morning to you, other four people. Yeah, you can't keep reinstalling Windows, She Devil. Reinstalling Windows doesn't fix a problem. You know what I mean? That's not going to fix any problems. And there's no such thing as a clean install because if you do that, that means it's going to take two or three days to install all the drivers again. Because Windows has got to update itself to 1908 all over again. So stop uninstalling Windows. Uninstalling Windows, that's like you need an oil change in your car. So you go to the mechanic and have him put a brand new freaking motor in your car because you need an oil change. So yeah, re doing a clean install of Windows doesn't accomplish anything at all. That's not going to solve any problems on your computer because you're more than likely you have a hardware issue, not a software issue. That's what's causing your computer to crash. And more than likely it's one of your memory sticks. Cool. Yeah, but why'd you have to reinstall Windows? You mean it crashed totally to where you had to reinstall Windows again? If it had to, if it crashed totally to where you had to reinstall Windows, then you got you have other issues. Just to let you know. And you have Windows on a separate boot drive? than your games and all that crap or a different partition or all that just in case because I don't want you to have to do more work than you have to do you know what I mean that's, that's silly But your, vi your drivers can always get corrupted too since you said your windows crashed. We gotta figure out. Okay, so you have a different processor and a different motherboard. Okay, correct. So what you need to do is what motherboard is that? Whatever motherboard that is, you need to go to that manufacturer's website and download the latest drivers for that motherboard. You're using generic window ones, which are not going to work. You specifically have to have the chipset drivers for that board. Risen 7 and a B... Okay, so you have the B40. So go to Asus and download the drivers from Asus. Don't use the Windows 10 default ones. They're not going to work. You also need the Intel... Um, the Intel storage drivers. But yeah, you definitely don't want to have the, the Microsoft one. That's why you're, it's not running right. You need to specifically get the Asus drivers. That's a rock board, I think. The B450, because I have the B, I have the B350. I mean, MSI, sorry. 
I meant to say MSI. That's like the one I put in that guy's system that I built. When I upgraded that guy's system and I put that MSI board in, right. You want to go to MSI and install all their shit, right? Also in the BIOS, make sure you have the BIOS. Those BIOSes are really tricky, She-Devil. So make sure you have the BIOS set on default. Go in there and set the BIOS to default. Don't try to tweak the BIOS or tweak, you know, do anything tweaking in the BIOS. Set it to default on that board. But check that board for updates too, for a BIOS update. And then go there and download all the Windows drivers for that board and install everything. Because I, I guarantee you it has separate drivers because it's exactly what the board I put in his system when I did that MSI for that kid. And I had to download all the drivers, man. You can't, you can't depend on the Windows ones. They're not going to work. So set the motherboard at default. Then make sure you have all their drivers installed for that board. We'll go do that route first. Now the memory, are you using your memory? And how many memory slots does it have? Two or four? I think on that board it's got two slots. It might have four slots, but it might only only have two. Four? Alright, where do you have the memory sticks? One and three or two and four? Okay. Because this is sort of critical where the memory sticks are. That can that can cause it to crack. Okay, so you have basically you have it in two and four, not one and three, right? You're running it in two and four. Yeah, well, that's what I just said, because what happens is people put the memory in the wrong slot. They put it in slot one and two, like the first two slots, or they'll put it in one and three, and that's not good. You got to put it in two and, two and four for that board. But I would change the BIOS back to default. You might have a BIOS setting, too, that's causing that issue. Let you know. Could be could be a bios a bios -y thing. But it sounds like it's a hardware issue to me. Because everything was working fine and you just changed the motherboard and CPU and now your system's crashing on you, right? That sounds like you don't have the right driver, you know like you don't have the motherboard drivers that's using generic Windows crap to try to control the hard drive controllers and all that. Nope. Definitely want all the MSI shit in there for, for anything else. Always. We'll do that first. Run the base mark web 3 point it restarts on level four every time. What the hell is that, C Devil? What are you talking about? And did you use thermal paste on your CPU? And you don't have any bent pins for sure you can look at you look at the CPU real close when you put it on you don't have any of those little pins are bent because if you have one of them's bent a little bit it can cause that problem too the computer will run but it'll it'll air out web-based TPU test nah don't do that T-Devil you don't that's that's bogus that's not that 
anything online isn't going to give you an accurate test of what's going on because you're trying to use a web-based browser. You got too much shit. We just want a pure. You can run hardware tests uh, via the uh, motherboard BIOS. You can go to the motherboard BIOS. You can run memory tests and hard drive and all that crap that way. But yeah, anything on the web isn't going to tell you shit. That's useless at this point because we got to figure out why your computer's crashing, right? And if it's crashing on your GPU, that means you don't have the right drivers for your GPU. You're running the wrong drivers. Just to let you know. You should be running uh, 29.2 are the drivers you should have. Yep, 29.2. And did you do a fresh install of your drivers also? You know what I mean? When you did this, did you like do a clean, a clean install, clean factory install when you update the drivers? Okay. Cool. All right. Just checking. Just checking. But that's what it sounds like. It sounds like you don't have the drivers for your motherboard, and that's why Windows is getting stupid and it's crashing. I know for a fact that MSI has their own software that you need to install. You can't use the Windows software. It's not going to work. It'll crash every time on you. And you did use thermal paste on your CPU, right? You didn't put the CPU on with no thermal paste. Like you were saying, some idiot was trying to tell you to do. Yeah, you don't need thermal paste. Don't worry about that. You, you, you only be able to cook an egg on your CPU, but that don't worry. Yeah, because AMD CPUs run hot to begin with. That's the biggest problem with AMD ones. They run so freaking hot. Yeah, so not not having thermal paste is just a rep recipe for disaster. Just asking for trouble. Good. And just a little bit, not a lot, right? Because we don't want to overheat your CPU. Well, when you go into your MSI BIOS, what's the temperature? It'll have your temperature right there. Your motherboard temperature and your um, CPU temperature. So what's your temps? That's easy to determine. Determine if that's the problem. We can do that real easy. Where's the picture at? I can show you. Here's your temperatures right here. If you're running any hotter than this, you got a problem. Oh, something's wrong. Too hot. You don't have you don't have your cooling. What type of fans are you using? Your temperature's running too hot. You're 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 running too hot, man. That's too hot already. So you either got your what type of cooling are you using? What type of cooling? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's too warm, she devil. Look at that picture. You should be about 25 and 31 at idle. That's too hot. 
Are you using just a little CPU fan, like a little cooling fan that goes on the CPU? Or are you using a, you know, a good, a good fan heat seat? It doesn't matter if it's hot there, she devil. The air temperature has nothing to do with the inside temperature of that computer. Don't go there, okay? It gets hot here where I live, and my PC will still run cool. But no, that's that's inconsequential. That that's I. What type of cooling fan do you have on that AMD processor? AMD processors run notoriously hot to begin with. That's why people have problems with their systems locking up with AMD processors because they're not running a big enough cooling fan. So it's going to lock up every freaking time you try to game. It's going to go up to 80 or 90 C and your computer is going to freeze and lock up on you every time, man. It's you, you have to have a really good cooling fan on an AMD processor. That's just that's the that's just why I don't use an AMD processor because they're too picky. And they're prone to locking up from heat. Will cause them freaking things to lock up. It's like, you know, that's why I don't run them. That's why I don't use one. For that specific reason, because of the heat factor. Because they suck. You have to have a really good cooling fan. Or else it's going to do that every time to you. You know what I mean? It's like, that's just going to be the norm, man. It's going to overheat constantly. A Evo 210? Um, a Am Am Bush UK. It's really nice that you want to help with. Can you do me a favor? Can you be quiet? Okay. I have to own a computer business for 35 years. So I'm more than capable of telling her what to do, what's going on. Plus, she and I have been friends for several years. So you just popped in here, and now you're trying to like, you know, do this, do that, have this installed. And no, she doesn't need any crappy software installed. All right, dude. So I appreciate you wanting to help. But you, you don't need to. All right? I'm more than capable of doing this. This is how I've made a living. Right? And bought three homes and raised a family and everything. And by, you know what I mean? So, do me a favor, man. Chill out. Too many chefs spoil the stew. You know what I mean? Okay, bye. Good. Get the fuck out of here. Leave. Bye. What a fucking little crybaby, man. Oh my god. Sergeant Fury told me to shut up, so I'm gonna fucking leave. What a fucking pussy. Fucking leave. Jesus fucking Christ, man. You fucking show up on my fucking stream. We don't know who in the fuck you are, and you start telling people to do shit like some people are gonna fucking listen to you, man. Who in the fuck are you? You show up out of fucking nowhere and start shooting your fucking mouth off. Oh, we're just supposed to, oh my god, oh this guy's god, he knows everything. Dude, go on your own stream and talk shit to people and tell people how to fuck their computers up, okay? Don't come on my fucking stream and try to start doing shit and then, okay, I'm by. Oh, I got my dick got bent because Sergeant Fury told me to be a real man and shut the fuck up and let him help somebody. What a fucking pussy, man. Fucking mother... Another UKer asshole, man. See? Oh my god, somebody from the United States told me to shut up. Yeah, just like we kicked your ass over 200 fucking years ago. Right? Can you start talking shit to us then? So, you want, me, you want me to shut up? Don't come on my stream and start telling my friends and shit how to do shit, dude. Alright? You ain't, you ain't, I don't give a shit what you're asking, man. Holy fucking crap, man. Another fucking computer expert. Oh yeah, I, I know all about computers, man. And he starts, oh fine, he told me to be quiet. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry. So go cry in your porridge, man. Come back when you can handle some criticism. Holy shit, man. 
like the people like when I do Wildland Challenges live and somebody comes on, oh, I could do that challenge in three minutes. I'm like, well, that's funny because it takes fucking four minutes to fucking spawn into the goddamn fucking group. So, yeah, just relax, man. Let me help you do that one, okay? This is what we do best, man. This is why we've known each other for several years and we don't know who you are, so... Yeah, because for the first problem is she definitely it is running a little hot your computer So what type of fans do you have on that computer? What type of fans do you run in and where do you have your fans set up? Because we got but that's not gonna keep it from crashing It won't crash because it's running hot. It's just running a little hot, but that's not gonna stop it from That's not gonna keep it from working. We gotta figure out why it's not working That makes sense and that's software based, I think. That's why it's crashing? I don't think it's crashing because it's overheating. If it's crashing because it was overheating, you probably just get a blue screen of death constantly every time you try to start the computer up. But you said it's only crashing when you run a video game. You try to start your game up, which tells me that it's software related. And more than likely, it's the drivers for your. Because you got an SSD drive in there, correct? I believe you have an SSD drive that you're using. Yeah, dude, you're like fucking Andre yesterday, man. Starting to get... Wanting to know everybody's life history here and shit, man. I can tell him to chill out. Your car's great. Yeah, see, that's what I just said. So, the problem is it's overheating when you try to play a video game, correct? Yeah, you have an SSD. Alright, well, like I said, the first thing you want to do is install all the drivers from MSI. Go there and everything from MSI. Like, everything. You know, hard drive audio, whatever, whatever drivers MSI has, put them all on first. And then you're going to have to do a clean, a clean install of your video drivers because it sounds like your video drivers are corrupt, which means when you go to do an install, it's going to ask you if you want to do a factory reset on your video card and drivers, and you're gonna say yes. And you're gonna do a clean factory install. It's gonna take everything out. It's gonna sound like you have corrupt video drivers is what it is. If you play movies and all that shit, but you can't play a game, you probably got corrupt video drivers. Just tactical, what's up there, bro? Welcome, man. But again, everyone, you know, if, if we ask you for help, you know what I mean? Then you're more than welcome to chip, chirp up. But if you see Amazing. me talking to somebody, don't start putting comments in there because what happens, it gets a little confusing because I'm saying one thing, you're saying something. If I don't know something, then I'll ask you. Hey, can you guys, you know, you know, we're stuck, and we don't know this, and we don't know that, but I'm more than capable of doing this. And she devil's frustrated because she wants to get her game up and running, so she doesn't need three or four people all chipping in trying to tell her to do different shit. And you never, you never install the software that comes with your motherboard. You guys don't need that. That will cause your system to overheat if you Sorry, have any I'm type sure. of weird cooling software running. Like, M do you have MSI Afterburner? That was the other one I was going to say. Make sure you don't have MSI Afterburner installed. Oh, you enjoying the ra rainy weather? Uh, I'm not. I got too much shit to do. Yeah, MSI Afterburner, you don't need that. Take that off. That'll cause your, that can cause your system to crash.
Well, she never wish she had some rain, bro. She needs some rain really bad where she lives for her to water her fields because she's putting out a shitload of cash watering her field. So hopefully that rain will drop down there from Germany down to India. Whoa. She can get some of that water. She needs it, man. Her field, we look at the picture of her field the other day, it was dry as shit. What's up, lady? Looking awful cute. Oh, so I can't pick up a prostitute because I don't have any money. Well, she has a cute outfit on, too. Nice dress. Yep. She's looking at me. I'm looking at her. Nothing installed now except for drivers in Division 1. Well, what happened to all your games? And Division 1 isn't a good test of trying to get a game to work. Look at Thomas. Thomas like, Sarge, get some cash out, man. That hooker wants to get in your car, Sarge. She's got her F me pumps on too. Thomas Lee's like, she's looking she's looking fine, Sarge. You need more cash to pick up on a prostitute. Yeah, really? Wow. <laughs> wow, where's the ATM machine when you need one, huh? Sorry. No ATM machine around here. I'm I'm helping my sis anyway. She'll get mad if I have to if I go off with a prostitute right now. She'll get upset. So sorry. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have you just have to you just have to to so okay. Use your phone. <laughs> Look at Th Thomas, man. You just really want me to pick up on this prostitute. I'm helping my sis, man. She'll get mad at me, Thomas, if I try to pick up on a prostitute, man. I can't can't do that, man. Can't do that, Thomas. You know what I mean? She never will get mad. She never will get mad, bro. <laughs> no, you don't have to be sorry. I'm joking, man. But she's awful cute. She's got a cute little red dress on, that little leather jacket. She's awful cute. Nice legs. Awful cute. All right, so she devil. We got all the Windows updates done, right? And you're done. You did. You downloaded all the MSI drivers, right? And you reset your BIOS to default, right? BIOS is set on default, correct? And you don't have MSI Afterburner installed, right? Or any other type of cooling fan monitoring programs, right? Not Cool Master. MSI Afterburner, a lot of people like to put that on, but that. Cool. Well, the audio, the audio drivers, you're going to end up using the uh, AMD ones. Because AMD, you're going to download, you're going to use the AMD audio drivers because those are the HDMI. Whether you use them or not depends on. How to set what on default, G Devil? The BIOS, you just reboot the computer and go in the BIOS, and then there'll be an option in the BIOS to reset it to default, factory default, in the BIOS. The AMD, the the audio drivers, after we reinstall the factory install AMD, then we'll go in there and worry about that. We're not going to do that yet. Because you're going to do a fresh install of your drivers. You're going to do a factory. When you go to reinstall your AMD video, it's going to ask you if you want to do a factory reset of the video card, and you're going to say yes. Oh, in the BIOS? Um, if you go in that BIOS screen, you'll see an option in there. There'll be there'll be an option in there. Um, I can't. It's somewhere under settings on the left-hand side where it says settings. 
there'll be an option to reset the board to factory default. I don't see it on this screen I'm looking at, but I know. And you want to be in easy mode too. Easy mode is F7. That's easy mode. Because your BIOS should look just like that BIOS I showed you in that picture, right? I'm assuming your BIOS looks just like that BIOS, right? Your BIOS doesn't look like this BIOS, like that one right there. Should look like that because that board and your board are almost the same board. They should have this is a this is a B250M board, so it should. BIOS should look pretty similar to that one. And you see on the left hand side there's an option that says motherboard settings, overclocking, M flash, OC profile, hardware monitoring, board explorer. And then across the top there's all those little dinky icons. And one of those icons, you'll be able to click on it and it's going to say reset the board. But there should be one to reset reset the board to factory defaults. Because you might have something on your board that's causing that to happen. Yes, Thomas, I know about money and services. You just go right here, you get the cash, see? See right there, man. Okay, here you go, Thomas. Well, now she's all up in my grill now. Jesus, the minute I put 500 bucks in my pocket, man, she ran all up to the car window, man. What's up, sweetie? Uh-oh. Disco devil. Ah, oh, good. All right. Then we're going to restart the computer, right? Then you're going to go... Do your video. Come back when you change your mind, hun. The hell are you doing, lady? I didn't tell you to get my car. We should get away from any keeping toms, right? Give the upset and upset. The hell I didn't tell you to get my car, lady. What the frick, man? I'm helping my sis fix your computer, man. Have you lost your mind? It's better Woman? if we find somewhere private, baby. Whoa. I think this lady's gonna rob me, man. I better be careful. I think I'm gonna get robbed by a prostitute. Mugged and rolled on live TV, on live stream. Sarge got mugged and rolled by a prostitute, man. She just came and jumped in my car, man. I didn't I didn't do shit. <laughs> I'm just sitting there, I looked at she devil, and next time I know I get this lady in my car with me. What the hell, man? Lady, I don't know where you came from, but you know, we're having issues here. Okay, so okay, so now you go back to the desktop, right? Right, and you're gonna what open up. You like, baby? You're gonna go to your Raytheon, right? You know your video settings, right? And you're gonna reinstall these drivers, right? The 292, but you're gonna do a complete factory reset. That's gonna be the option. It's gonna ask you. It's gonna say, do you want to reset? It's the factory and it's gonna uninstall everything and reset your board. This way you're not you haven't touched anything on here at all. It's all gonna reset it back to factory default. Let's do that first. How's that sound? What the hell lady? Wow, you got real cute eyes, man. Damn it. Come on, man. Oh shit, balls that damn Norton. Calm down, man. Calm down, lady. See, I'm paying my mechanic and crap. I don't have no money now. I'm going to be broke. It's going to be 
be broke. Sorry. Don't give me those sad, disappointing looking eyes. Jesus, man. Okay, yeah, so once we do that, she devil, we're gonna it's make sure it says factory reset. You wanna do the factory reset when you do your install on the drivers. Very important. That way it takes everything out and resets your video card. So it takes all your settings off your card, puts the card just like if you were taken out of the box and put it in your computer. Calm down, lady. Hey, I don't have no dislikes? I don't believe that. <laughs> Forget that. What's his name? What is giving me a dislike already? 54 playbacks. <laughs> People play, play the video back. That's a good sign. All right, so yeah, once you put the video drivers in. Okay, so you never answered me, though, um, sis. Do you have the MSI Afterburner software installed? I don't think you do because I don't. I think you would have said you had it installed. So I don't think you do. But just checking. Selling your forty thousand square foot mansion at Windsor Real Estate. We are the home of super prestigious real estate in Los Santos. Our experienced and knowledgeable professionals work hard. We look up some mansions on the internet, get the keys, give you a tour, and then make 6% on the back of the biggest investment of your life. Live the dream. Be the best you possible. For the man who isn't satisfied with... I don't have time to fuck around, buddy. Preferably with oh. a cinema. Bowling Sorry. Alley, two pools. Yeah, do I, man. Gym, Duty call. Swinger Grotto. Punishment Dungeon. 7,000 bottle wine cellar. Moving sidewalks. 47 places to watch television. Hidden cameras and two-way mirrors. No bookcases. Thomas seems like, damn it. Exotic petting zoo. And we were that close, Sarge. Sorry, Thomas Lee. Got help by this first, man. Work before pleasure. You know what? Oh, no, you don't have the MSI afterburner? Thank you, devil. All right. <coughs> so let's do your video drivers first. Then when I'm happy to do a memory test, people don't realize Windows 10 has a memory tester built into it that you can run, and when and it'll say, "Do you want to reboot the computer and test your memory?" And you say yes. So after we do the video drivers and we need to back up on the desktop, that computer is obviously running pretty good though because look how fast it does everything. See, so we know it's probably you probably got a software issue because it seems to be. Oh, you better believe it's all cool, Thomas. Thomas Lee. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so just tactical, man. What's, what's, what are you up to, man? What are you doing today? And that was a cute lady, too, man. You don't know how hard that was. Get it? Not hang out with her. That was a play on words. Uh, did you see that option, she devil, to do the factory reset on your motherboard? Oh, cool. All right. Yep. Armor three. Sounds good. Have you been doing that old man DLC? Like I was telling you to do, because that's like a good playing program. It's a good, like, good way to have fun and try not to get your ass kicked. Because the Chinese are real tough. Chinese man, they can spot you a couple hundred meters away. Because they got drones and they got thermal and.
Zero Hour and GTA. Oh, you forgot all about that one. Get the fuck out of here, dude. <coughs> you know how to load it up, right? You go to your mods, you'll go or the DLCs there above mods, it's gonna say old man, right? So you went you load that up there, then you click on start down on the lower left, right? Like you're gonna go to where the campaigns are and all that, right? Okay. Then when you get to that screen, go click over there and you're gonna see scenarios. And when you click on it, you're gonna see old man. You highlight it and say start, it'll start that old man DLC for you. All right, BIOS is uh, done to default, fantastic. All right, so then uh, let's do the driver, she devil. Do your video, get that out of the way. Yeah, and then that way you can start that one. That one, I guarantee you're gonna get hooked on that. That one's pretty hard to do. That, that's, uh, that's a pretty tough one to do because you start out with nothing and you know you gotta scavenge all your gear or you gotta get money somehow from doing shit and then go buy it from the um, from the from the French Mafia because the French Mafia runs all the stores and if you get those guys pissed off they won't let you come to their stores and buy no supplies then you're really fucked because you gotta go steal everything because you can't buy anything anymore because the dummies will deny you access to the store. When you try to go buy, they won't sell you anything. And then you got the insurgents, right? Which are trying to take back the island from the Chinese. So they're going to want you to do shit for them. So you don't want to get them pissed off. Or you can have the insurgents after you. Oh, it will be. Because like I said, you got to like... You gotta, you gotta do shit for the insurgents to get them to help you. You gotta do shit for the French syndicate to get them to sell you shit, right? Even though their prices are real expensive, oh my God, they're ripping your ass off. So it's actually better to try to go kill people and take the gear. Or like I was lucky, I came across three, I don't know if they were syndicate guy or insurgents or what that were dead and they had everything. They had night vision goggles, they had assault rifles, cami gear, helmet, backpack. So I just stripped their asses right there on the fucking road. Because you can strip guys down to their underwear. Literally. You can leave them laying in their fucking BBDs. So, that's the cool part of the game. So that, I think we can do that co-op. But I'm not sure. It might be single player only. But that one, you'll have a good time playing that. That one's pretty freaking hard to do. Uh, you, you'll be pretty impressed trying to play that. Because that one, there's roadblocks set up everywhere. Okay, my so, friend. You want a popular club? You gotta know how to... Once you um, start carrying a weapon and shit, you can't go through any roadblocks because they got drones that come up and scan your car. The little drone will fly back and forth over your car and scan it for weapons and explosives and shit. So once you start carrying a weapon, you gotta avoid all the roads and shit because you can't get stopped at a roadblock or you're gonna get killed. Then on the other hand, the freaking guys are all over the place on patrols. So you gotta be real quiet when you move and and, or else they're gonna spot you and they're gonna kill you that way. Oh, are you kidding? It's it's a full blown it's a full blown game. It's like a game and the D it's a DLC. It's a complete game. In itself. You get over about a hundred hours of playability just out of that DLC. that car and he drove off. Yeah, it's like it's a complete DLC. So you're gonna get, you know, you said a hundred hours of playing out of it easy. Yeah, it's not easy to do because of the fact, like I said, you start out with nothing. You know, 
know, so it's not like you're fully armed and you have an arsenal and everything. You you actually start with nothing and you go meet this guy, and then that's when he gives you this. Um, you get you can get plastic explosives, and if you search around, there's a pistol there. Then once you get that, that's it. Now you're now you're stuck. Now you can't go on the roads anymore because you're carrying a gun and explosives. And, now you can drop all that shit. You also have a stash house. You have your safe house that you can go to that where your computer is and you have a bed so you can sleep and change the time in the game. So that's a cool thing too, to change the time. So technically you can stash everything there and go around without any weapons or any guns. You can do it that way too. And that'll allow you to drive through roadblocks. Alright, now she Devil, when you did the video drivers, you did a factory reset, correct? Complete factory reset for the video. Right? Correct? Alright, hold on one second. people don't realize that they have this built into their computer. Under under um, Windows Administrative Tools, it's just a Windows Memory Diagnostic. See that? All the under under there, Windows Diagnostic. Oh shit! I don't know if I'm gonna get these supplies back in time. I'm stuck in the sea devil. I gotta go out to the desert. I thought it was that. I thought I had to go over here to South Central. There's the one in the desert. Had to find a dinosaur. Now, when it started running, did you see an error message pop up in, in yellow, blue, red, some color saying that it found a problem with your hardware? Or did it pop up saying no problems were detected? Could you give me some more coffee, please? So that way you don't have to go up and down like a few times. Yeah, when you run that memory test, you know, when you reboot it, it should, if there's an error with one of your memory sticks, it's going to say it detected a hardware, a, a hardware problem. If it says it didn't detect any problems, but it's going to run it anyways, that's a good sign. That's what we want to see. It's actually, like, perfect. No, when you run the test itself, she devil, it will say that. It will pop right up there. It's it's a it's a text. Like when you're running the test, there'll be a there'll be a text 
box and it'll say Windows detected a hardware issue and then, you know what I mean? Correct. If it says no problem detected, but it's gonna run memory test one and memory test two, you don't have a memory problem. If you got a memory problem on your stick, one of your memory sticks, everyone, as soon as you run the memory test, you're gonna get a warning saying it's detected a problem. See, this is what, remember my customer a couple weeks ago? Their computer was crashing on them, their tower. And what I did was, I pulled, I did that and I got an error that I pulled out one of the memory sticks, right? And then I got no Windows error. As soon as I pulled out the memory stick, there was no error at all. And I ran the test and then I put that memory stick back in, right? So I brought in two sticks and then I got the test again, an error. Right, so that tells you that memory stick is bad. Then I ordered the one on eBay for whatever it was, 15 bucks, popped it in, ran the test, and perfect. So if you run that test and it says it doesn't detect any problems, your memory's fine. You can run the test anyways, but your memory's fine. It'll, because if there's a problem on one of those, one of those um, integrated circuit chips, it'll, it'll, it'll pop up immediately and tell you. Yeah. So we so you don't have a memory problem. I think you buy. I think your problem was you don't have you didn't have the MSI software on because MSI requires you to load their drivers, especially if you have an SSD drive. It's going to get real sticky because it wants to reload the Windows 10 default ones, which are useless. They're not going to do you any good at all with an SSD drive. Matter of fact, you have to have those SSD drivers, whatever drive SSD drive that is, you have to make sure those drivers are installed too for that SSD drive. Because Windows is only going to put generic drivers for that, and you need the specific SSD drivers, or else that SSD drive is not going to want to work right. That's where the, the Intel storage ones come in. Intel storage. Because those are specifically designed for the SSD drive. And I know they have new ones because I can show you in a second when I give them a submission. Um, that's Intel Rapid Storage. You want to go to Intel's website and download the Intel Rapid Storage for M2 and SSD drives. So that needs to be installed. I know, and you're going to say, why did it work before? Why is it not working now? That's, you know, why is the price of tea in China what it is? You know what I mean? Why is the sky blue? Teeny weeny. we has got a teeny weeny. Wow. Windows updated, we've reset your motherboard to default, right? You've updated all, did they have a BIOS one too? Usually they don't, which I'm not gonna worry about. So we'll get something to eat and let me know when you get back and we'll continue to devil. minutes and we were flying out there. Oh man, don't... I don't need somebody being a dick. To me.
I gotta hurry up. I don't want that person to be a dick. Just relocated the bunker in the new arcade. Ah, uh, okay. Where'd you move everything to, bro? And you got the motorcycle club. Did you do what I did here on the PC and you have everything in one area Fantastic. down here? Fantastic, champ. Well, that was well, very that nice was very of you not to blow me up blow there me. when I was doing my supplies. Thanks. Thought you were gonna blow me up over some crappy booze. And I sent both of you friend requests, by the way. Sergeant Fury here, streaming live on YouTube. You Want to come on by the channel and give a shout out to your friends, family. Let me come outside and say hi to you. club. You don't have your club open, huh? Oh, 
Ah, here we go. In another nightclub. Okay. We'll come over here and patronize our club. Hey, come in. Good to see. Thank you. Party time, Shoot. man. Drinks on the house, man. Keeping it simple, nice.
enough to make some tea and work on our computers some more. Just tacticals, jamming, because the little bay bucket up in front of the arcade. Thomas Lee's hanging out with his girlfriend. The freaks come out!
hell yeah.
Yeah, Caleb Pondland. Need some help? Send me a send me a invite, man. Be more than help. Happy to help you with the heist. They got two people want to help you right up there, bro. Club Rocks, thanks for letting me come here and dance. Excellent. Hey, bud. Okay, ah, good. Now, go ahead and put the rest of your um, launchers on and reinstall ah, Steam. Shit, no. I missed Famer Shane. Yeah, because you have to reinstall those apps. You can't just like pull them off your secondary drive and expect them to run. They're not going to run. You'll have to reinstall Steam, and you have to reinstall Uplay. Hey, you have to reinstall Rockstar. So reinstall those three, and then make sure you can log in. Okay, all three of them. I think those are the only three that you use, or whatever game launchers you use. Make sure you install each one and reboot in between each one. Like install one and then reboot, and then install another and reboot. Yeah. The reason is, even if you're if you have everything on a secondary drive and you run an SSD for Windows, we still have to put everything back in the registry to make sure that the registry recognizes everything for you, just in case. Forgot I had my uh, voice on. This way people don't have to listen to me in the game. I don't see anybody killing anybody, so I think it should be fairly safe to do some cargo ship. We got an opportunity, boss. Some hot product just came up. More expensive than a normal shipment, but more profit potential, too. You want to go for it? Come back to the office soon to make the deal. Oh, we got a special, something special. Let's go back to the office. All right, so yeah, do your U play, and then restart the computer. I know it's a pain in the butt. And then do Steam, and then restart the computer, and then do Rockstar. Whatever game launchers you use, make sure you install all of them, and, and 
The reason you reboot in between each one is because they all use the same bullshit. They all use a net framework and B and you know the C++. They all use those, and they all install a variation of it based on what their preferences are. So by rebooting between each one, you make sure that their shit's loading up in the computer properly. That you're not just taking a chance on it loading and not too close. That's why you reboot in between each install. Just to make sure. Then after all three, all your installers are all installed, right? Then you're going to go back to the system Windows update and check for Windows updates one more time. No, it's easier. Well, anything you need, boss. Okay, if you want to just you do you play first, that's fine. Okay, but go to go to, go to Windows first now. Go to your system and Windows updates and let it check for updates one more time, please. Yeah, we can do it one at a time if you want. I, I think you're gonna be okay now. I think you had a corrupt video driver. Okay, so where's the special cargo? Where's the special cargo at that I can get? How do I get it? Anybody know? It said come back to the office. How do we find this special cargo she's talking about? Good, she devil, thanks. Anybody know how to do what she's talking about? Leader. Check map. Oh, hi. How can I help you? Keep your blood sugar up. Yeah, because she's done when that before, which she's got, told me I'll to come back, some. and I've come back. Are you sure you need more snacks? And I haven't figured out what she's talking about. I'll check the map real quick. Looks like your pockets are full. When you finish what you've got, I'll give you some more. Mm, doesn't look like anything going on on the map. Mm, weird, huh? Yeah, she's done that before, which she said an opportunity to come back, get back to the office, and I go straight there, and I can't figure out what the hell she's talking about. Yeah, it's a special cargo crate, but where is it at, right? Does that make sense? Hey, I am with her. Special vehicle work? Oh, I already did. I. Oh, man, we're getting too many people on here now. I got to... Yeah, all I know is I am with her. She just told me to come back to the to the office. So, we're getting too many people, man. I gotta, like... Gotta hose some of these. 
if anybody knows, I am Wither would know. He's pretty smart when it comes to all this shit. You do know that I've got two degrees, both in finance. Oh, you think I just did it? All right. We'll find out. Because remember that one time I did, I started to do one and then we ended up getting that gorilla, that gorilla scan, right? Which is worth. You got the pick a point on your GPS? Okay. All looks cool. All right. I'm going to invite them over to, um. Yeah, the server was getting a little crowded, so I'll invite her over to the server. Yeah, we'll have to figure this out with how this is gonna work. Goodness me! Oh! Yeah, that one time I went to go do one and it ended up being a gorilla, a gorilla fur, and it ended up being worth like, you know, $250,000. You can only paid 18. So we'll see. I never put in my support ticket either for my watch, the gold watch that I got at the casino. That's worth 150. I might have to put a support ticket in for that, but I have to do the video. I have to do a short video and put it up showing how I want it and my game froze. So I am with her, man. What's a good word? Ah, oh, Windows has an update again. See, she devil. The 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 see, she devil's like, damn. I'm glad I got Sarge here. Huh. And then remember all the settings that we changed, She Devil, for the performance and power and all that crap? Ah, oh, shit, in one of the vehicles? Great. All right, hold on. was right there now it's gone shit balls and the hell's that it was right there all right windows has updated itself cool All right, now, you remember how you had to go into the performance and set up your power and all that crap? Make sure you have all that shit set up. Idiot, better not get off the freeway here. I'll be pissed.
Easy peasy. I know, you're gonna say, how did I know it was this one? Because this is, oh. That wasn't it, God damn it. Dickhead. I'm sorry, She-Devil. Okay, so Windows is all done. Everything's all done, right? Yeah, remember in the settings how you go to power and options and you can change the settings? Remember that time I helped you do that? You can put it on performance instead of power saving mode, which is probably on. Remember that video I had on Windows tips and tricks? That one. Thomas, stop laughing. I'm on timeout, man. Thomas like, Sarge can't find the van. Sarge can't find the van. Still out, man. Damn you. Damn you, Thomas. Where's he at? He was right here. Well, where's he at? Oh, you SOBO, he went the other way. Yeah, don't frickin' hit me. Oh, you Chingawi, man. Totally crazy, man. Yeah, I thought he's coming up the street right here. Get out! Quit knock! Oh my goddamn cars! Where in the? He was right there, man. It's damn GPS in this game, man. Uh. Yeah, he was right, like right there, and now he's gone, man. Fucking stupid game. It said he was at this intersection right here. Oh my god, man. And now he's like five fucking blocks away. Yeah, it said he was right there. And then all of a sudden now he's all the way on the other side of fucking town already. How the fuck did he go from there all the way down here? That fast. What type of bullshit's that, man? Give me an effing break, man. Yeah, that, that van went from right where I was at all the way down here all of a sudden now. Like, by magic. And he's driving the wrong way in the airport. He's driving backwards. Oh shit, man. Ah oh, crap, man. I need a freaking car. Get out of my way, dude. Get your bone there. Get out of my way. No effing way. Balls. Damn degenerate. Where the fuck did that fucking little airplane come from? I guess I just jacked somebody's airplane up for their mission, huh? You good man. It was weird, that van was right there at the intersection and then all of a sudden he's fucking gone. Oh yeah, just what I don't need is a cargo bob.
Oh, goddamn frickin' Cargo Bob again, man. Son of a bitch. Ah, it's frickin'... It's just so stupid. Give me the slowest ass helicopter in the fucking game to go chase these guys with. I just don't understand how they can get from one side of town to the other side of town so quick. He was just at the airport, now he's all the way on the other side of town, town again. You know what I mean? It's like stupid, man. But how do they get from one side of town? We can't even drive this fast and these guys are already on the other side of town already. From the airport, that guy came all the way back over here. That quick. Like I said, I was, he was right below me, and then when I got out of the helicopter, he was all the way across. He was gone. He was right at that intersection. I saw him right below me the first time. And then all of a sudden, I was like, well, what the fuck happened to that car? See? This is fucking stupid, man. They're like, Sarge, you are so effing lucky. Now, can I pick up this um, van with the cargo bob? Pick up the pick it up. Gotta do it the old fashioned way. But still, 30 seconds left, I got the van. So, can't complain, right? And I had a 50 50 chance on which one it was gonna be, too, right? So we didn't know which one it was gonna be. Oh, god damn. Why'd they do that shit to you? It's so stupid, man. You're going to do something and the fucking game has NPCs turned into you, man. Uh, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, we're going to have NPCs turn into you because it's like so cool. All right. <laughs> so this wasn't, I don't even think this was a special cargo. It's just counterfeit goods, so. 
Oh my god, you fucking asshole. Uh, I was just getting ready to say watch, I bet this car turns right. Had I gone on the left side, it had turned left. And the game's like, the game knows, like if you're gonna turn right, the cars are gonna turn right into you. If you turn left, they're gonna turn left. If you're trying to get away and not get a car damaged, they're gonna come across the road and hit you fucking head on. It's like the game just, you know that's gonna how it works. Right? That's just so funny. It's like the game just like, okay, you're gonna go right? Okay, we'll have an NPC turn right there in front of you. You're gonna go left? Yeah, no problem, man. We got you covered. Don't move. Keep that thought there, sorry. Okay, man, we got it together. Well, we're gonna fix your PC right now, too. So you have everything reinstalled, right? CW, you play installed, everything's installed, you're sitting on the desktop. At this point, you should be able to fire up like the Division 1, if you know that play. And play. Oh my god, see that? Look at them. They're just like, I swear to god, man. The game knows when you gotta go somewhere and MPG will just turn right in front of you, man. First I thought it was just a weird fluke, but then I realized it's like they know when you're on a mission you gotta go somewhere. Games like design that thwart your efforts. Alright, well, there's a counterfeit good. I didn't think I was gonna do it. <laughs> Wait for me to deliver the cargo. Thanks, you devil. See, there was nothing. There's no special items. See, special item zero. Unless I keep tripping on what the hell she was talking about. About some special mission. You know about special cargo? Jesus! I am with her, thought it might have been vehicle work. You know, special vehicle work, but those all take two people to do those. No, she, she, she specifically said special cargo. That's the second time that's happened, and I haven't been able to figure out how to activate it or get whatever the hell she's talking about that I can get. So. it again. But I did have one of those come up with a gorilla skin. Yeah, I paid 18 and I got it was worth, you know, 300,000 or whatever the hell it was worth, 250,000, so that was cool. Oh, the power. Remember you go to the power settings and you change all, remember that video I showed you? We just go in there and change it to high performance. Hold on. Power mode. Oh. Additional power settings. 
See, I have ultra performance now because I have Norton on here, but you should have one to do high performance. See, this one right now is maximizing system performance by engaging all CPU cores at full clock speed. That's if you have Norton. Okay, it's on high performance. Cool. All right. Good. And you also have these additional ones, right? These advanced ones here. Remember this one that you open up about turn off hard disk should be zero, correct? Wireless adapter should be power saving mode, sleep. All these should be no sleep, right? High bed sleep, never off, right? Hybrid, you know, all that crap. Connect PCI Express should be state, link state power management turned off. Okay, on the Risen one, what does it give you for, um, On the Risen, what does it say? Does it show Risen as wanting to engage all your CPU? CPU? You might want to... Oh, shit. Hold on. Yeah, you might want to try the Risen one. The Risen one? I'm ready to go on this end. Boss. Just to see... What does it give you for the options for the Risen, though? All the same? All right. It does, so it doesn't matter. All right. So if you got all that crap set up, then you might as well try a game. See what happens. Listen, you do realize about my MBA, don't you? Yeah, special vehicle work. Um, you would think if it was a special mission, it would be there. You know what I mean? She said she specifically said special special cargo is what she said. So again I'm not quite sure what was that all about. I don't know what that is. Your recollection is entirely synthetic. Mine too. I'm not a doctor. I just think I am. Fly low. You've got to help me, man. have to figure out what this is. Yeah, executive existence. All right. People have the same question as me. She didn't have any such on computer, really, so invite one session. It's not a Bigfoot pelt, it's just a gorilla pelt. Yeah, I don't see it. 
people say, oh yeah, just go log into your computer and you're going to see the offer to buy a special crate. You know, for like 18 to 28,000, but I haven't seen that. I have no idea, man. Why it didn't work. They said if you switch sessions, it doesn't work, but I didn't switch sessions at all. You know what I mean? So. I don't know. trigger it. A lot of people talking shit about it, but I don't, I don't see any way to trigger it. No offer on the other warehouse? No, I looked on both of them, I am with her. They both have identical identical things. It's the general. They say what you do is you just do it, and sometimes it'll pop up as special. It'll show up as a regular one, but I don't know. Oh, you're in the menu screen now, she double good. I think you're gonna be okay. I think we've resolved the issue. Yeah, it's weird I am with her because as soon We're being extorted, boss. The seller won't give us the location until we deal with a as problem soon as of his. She told me to come back uh, to the office. You guys see him. I just drove straight I'll give to you the, the target's office. location. I didn't do anything. When he's I didn't gone, the we'll get the details for the pickup. I didn't log out, log in. I just went straight to the office and there was nothing there. No idea what the hell that whole thing's about. Huh. Oh well, we just press on, right? That's all we can do. Nothing we can do.
Oh, it's the fall. Didn't mean to fall. That wasn't in the plan, huh? What do you mean as soon as you hit full screen? Okay, you gotta run the game at the same resolution you're running your desktop at, She Devil. You're trying to run the desktop and the game at two different resolutions. First off, you can't do that. Okay. So what what are you running your desktop? Resolution. What do you have your desktop set at? First off. Start real easy. Goodness me. No, that's ten eighty is not oh, what your desk your desktop is set at nineteen twenty by ten eighty at sixty hertz. Right? 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. Yeah, that's fine. Let the game launch. In, it's launching in Windows mode. That's fine. It's launching in Windows mode because it can't match your desktop settings. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So we just want to have you run it at the same thing. And your hertz is probably different too. You know what I mean? Like what, what's your hertz set, set at? So as soon as you set it to full screen, the computer crashed. That's what you said. The whole thing crashed. Okay, get the full screen. Right, 1920 by 1080. No, but when you go in there and it says window mode, what hertz is the refresh rate set at? 24, 60, and what is your desktop hertz set at? So you're trying to run your game at a higher resolution than what you have your desktop set at. Either the hertz is different, Something's different. You got something set up different. And that's why the game is not digging it. That's why it's trying to start in Windows mode. Which you should have just played it in Windows mode first. Just to see if it actually played. You know what I mean? Just to get it going and then stop it. 
but your problem is your desktop and your game are now fighting with each other. That's what it sort of sounds like. No, the desktop isn't 144 by default. Oh my god. Because your game can't run that high, she devil. You know, your games can only run at the same hertz that your desktop is set at. You're fucking, there's no setting in any video game at 144 hertz. None. Not one. So you're trying to push your, you're trying to push the game to match your desktop and that's impossible. It's never going to match the desktop ever because there is no setting in any video game. There's no setting for 144 hertz. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. And this is why your games are crashing. Because they're trying to run in Windows mode. And then you're saying, no, I want you to run in full screen. And your computer's like, no, we're not going to. This is why you can't run. You have to reduce your desktop to hertz on your desktop. Try to get that game to work. I think that's what you're running into it definitely has to do with your monitor. It doesn't like your monitor settings. So if you lower your desktop settings to like 60 hertz, right? To your video card, your desktop, your game all have to match and they're not. Your video card is one setting, the desktop is one setting, your game's another, you got all three of them mixed, mixed up. So everything has to be the same as it was before. See, somehow, you when you reinstall Windows, it decided to change your desktop settings. Hey, we need to talk. So instead of using, you know, ones that match the game, you're using some crazy ones that don't match anything, and then that's why the game wants to crash, because it doesn't know what to do anymore. I mean, it's like, okay, well, I can't run it. That's why I try to run a Windows mode. Well, I know it's a 144 hertz monitor. What I'm saying is, it's not going to run at that. It's not, it's not going to run at that. Yeah, set, try setting it to 60 and let's see. See, because the game started up and then you said it crashed. And the reason it crashed is because... The game and your desktop have to be set the same. See, mine set at 60 hertz. 2560 by 1440 is 60. The game, my desktop is, wants to run at 24 hertz. But I'm forcing my game to run at 60 because my desktop is running at 30, whatever it is, 36, 20, whatever. My desktop's running at, at a higher res. So as long as the game's running less than what my desktop is, you shouldn't have that problem. In theory. <laughs> That's all I can say. In theory. Right? But let's just see if we can get um, the game to just... And then you got to go into your AMD settings. Right? And make sure you don't have anything in there because that's... That's going to want to mess with your game. Do you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? For your On your video card? You got to go in here and make sure there's nothing loaded up in here. Right? For under games. Under gaming. Come over to here and make sure that it's not turned. It's not turned on in here. Like if you're gonna do the division, make sure that it's not loaded up in here first. The first time you do it, to see if you can get it to run without these video settings being set turned on. We'll try it that way first. We'll see. We'll get. We're gonna get this thing working. One way or another. I don't know why my guy's all aggressive, too. He gets like that every now and then. Alright, so couldn't find the special cargo. So that, that whole thing was a bust. 
So I guess we can if we sell these. It'll either going to be a truck or an airplane. If I sell four of these. to make the exchange in international waters so the goods are loaded onto a boat down at the docks get it out to the drop off and we got our money all right all right yeah let's just see if it runs first if you just get the game to run right just to see if we can get it running and then try a couple try division one try division two try broke point then we'll try to figure out what, why your monitor, or why you know, why you're crashing. If it doesn't crash, then that's a good sign. Then we know it's just some stupid setting that we have to figure out what setting it is. It is. Oh my God, dude, the fucking boat's like right here. Why can't I go down this thing right here? We're both figuring this out, though, sis. Don't worry. Yeah, I wanted me to drive all the way around and put the boat right here. Okay, I did this one before and put the boat right here and it wanted me to drive like... Let's see if it runs. If it runs in Windows mode, then that's a good sign. See that one. Did you verify your game files? Your game? Game files are corrupted. You know what I mean? Try a different game. Try a different launcher. Try putting Steam on or a different one besides Uplay. Uplay is like the worst one to try anyway, sis. Of all the ones that tried, like Uplay is like the stupidest one. Click continue, reaches 100% loaded, and then restarts. Now you talk about read the whole computer restarts itself? Because if that's the case, then your game files are corrupted. If that's, if that's happening, then you probably got a game file corruption thing images are going on. 
that makes sense. Because you said, yeah, oh, on Epic, yeah, you need to verify it, because you said you can do YouTube, you said you can watch Netflix, you can watch YouTube, you can do all that, so if your games aren't launching, you have your games on a separate hard drive, so what does that tell you? That somehow your registry is effed up, right? That's why your games aren't working. The games are going to crash when they're not loaded properly. Either a registry issue or the game files are corrupted because Windows is working normal and only crashes when you try to start a game. It means your games are corrupted. And that can happen if you run two different hard drives because your registry is on the SSD. Your registry is not on that other D drive that you have all your shit on. Yeah, it's restart, it's rebooting because there's a problem with the with the, that other drive. Did you run a test on the other drive? Did you run the um, um, you can run disk check and check that drive for errors, the other hard drive. Yeah, kernel, that's correct, because it's the other drive. Does that make sense? In other words, there's something going on on that other drive. And what antivirus program do you have? Because you might have a virus. I to say that, but... Yeah, that's why I want to try a different game, you know, a different launcher, a different game. But it seems that they're all tied to that. Like, do you have anything that runs on the SSD drive? Do you have any games installed on the SSD drive, or are they all on the other hard drive, on the SA, SA, DA drive, the fast drive? Kernel power air. Okay, your power cables. You have the power cables plugged into the motherboard correctly, and you have the power to the to the um, the six pin, eight pin to the RTX properly. Maybe you don't have a cable connected properly. You have duplicate audio drivers, possibly, it says. Just let you know. That's not it. Or you have a hardware problem with that card itself, with the video card itself, you might have to reseat that card.
That's one of the reasons, that's what it's saying right there. Uh, you saw Colonel Air, Colonel Power in Event Air 41. But it's definitely coming off that dig off that hard drive. Caused by your audio driver, it says. So what it is is you got two. Yeah, you have you have two sets of audio drivers running. She devil is what your problem is. All right, and you're 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 competing against each other. Remember, I already told you. You got this is your problem. You can only have one set of audio drivers. So. Which ones are you using? Are you using the AMD? Or are you using the Realtek? You can't use both. You can't use both, see? So disable. So you got you can't you either have to use the AMD or you have to use the Realtek and you gotta disable one of them. You have both of them enabled right now probably. So you gotta go into here and you can only so which one you wanna use? The AMD ones work directly through your HDMI cable. And normally you use those if you have speakers on a monitor, right? You know, it goes from the HDMI out. But if you're using the headphones, you're probably using the real tech, you know, that come with your motherboard. Does that make sense? But your problem, I even told you before that you have drivers that you're, you don't need. And you're going to have to disable them or take them out or else you're going to have this problem. See, mine wants to try to use, see, mine are being outputted to my TV set. So if I was to turn the audio on my TV on, I could hear through my speakers. But I'm outputting to a surround sound system, a Sony home theater. So that's why I have a digital audio, you know, cable going out to my surround sound. But normally you use your H HDMI. Does that make sense? But nine times out of ten it's caused by an audio driver. Because you have two audio drivers that are supposed to, are trying to load. You can't load the AMD and the real tech or whatever one the MSI uses. Okay, so one of them you're gonna have to disable in that what I just showed you. Does that make sense? The other thing we can do is, diag is run the D direct X diagnostics, right? DX, you know, you open up, same thing, you go to your start run and you can run DX diagnostics to see if all your drivers, but I think what it is, is, is what I just showed you. I think, I think you're running. Okay, but you can't, it's not for you to decide, she devil. It's not for you to decide. Where is your audio coming out of your computer? How does the audio come out of your computer? Yeah, you can't decide. The computer is the one that decides for you. Based on, do you have sound coming out of headphones? Do you have sound coming out of speakers built onto a monitor? Do you have speakers? You know what I mean? Yeah, you can't decide. It's not up to you. It's based on your output. Okay? Yeah, so you have no choice in this matter. The computer does. Right? So if you're using headphones, using headphones, right? 
correct? You gotta do this a little faster, sis. So I don't have to keep jumping back and forth into my game, man. But yeah, you, you can't. Okay, so then you have to use whatever ones are built onto your motherboard. The AMD ones only work if you're using an HDMI cable that goes to a monitor with built-in speakers or a home theater system. That's the only way you can use those AMD. If you're outputting to speakers, to headphones, you have to use the ones built into your computer. And the way you find those is highlight this where it says show disabled devices, right? And then you're gonna set it as the default device. See, I just got kicked out, see? Yeah, so you can't use the AMD. This could be why your computer is crashing. Remember, because I told you don't use the AMD drivers because if the same thing happened to me. If I switch to AMD and I try to start up my game, my game wants to go wacky because that's not how I'm outputting my audio. My audio is being outputted to the, to the unless I disable them. See, you probably have them both enabled, right? And then the ones you need to disable are going to be the AMD. You're going to do just the opposite of me, of what I did. Right? And the reason you're going to do opposite is because you're using speakers, headphones. So that means you have to use the ones on your motherboard. Correct. You have to disable the AMD ones. Cool. All right. Because they say usually that's what causes it. Is is you could have a corrupt audio driver. That's what I'm looking on this page. You know, Colonel Power, Colonel Power Air number forty one. Now, the other problem is they're saying you might have a power supply problem itself. Now, this is what you're getting right here. Go look at this, G-Devil, and you're going to laugh because it's exactly what you just showed me on this page. Go look at this page. This is exactly what you just showed me. I mean exactly. Event property, the system has rebooted while clearly shutting down first. The error could be caused if the system stopped responding, crashed, or lost power. Log name system, kernel powers, event 41. See? Exactly what you showed me. I mean exactly, right? Update Windows 10. Disable Windows 10 fast startup. Reseat your RAM and graphics card, run check this and SFU and test for faulty power supply. Do you want to disable fast startup? Remember that? Don't want to have fast startup. And reseat your RAM and graphics card because it sounds like. And I think you might have your RAM in the wrong slots. I'm gonna go look it up. And you need to run both check disk and you need to do them both. You know what I mean? You have to run check this R, and you want to run check this on both 
So read that thing. If you look down there, it's number four. Run check disk and S. Because I think you have to run check disk on that other drive. You're not running it on the right drive. Right? And you also want to do this. Under the command prompt, you want to, you want to run this program too. Make sure you run that program. But go down that list and do it exactly how it shows you each one of those steps. Don't, don't like deviate or jump around or guess. Right? And the last thing you're going to do is we're going to test for a faulty power supply with this software program that you can download for free. It's going to test your power supply. So one of those five, I guarantee you, is going to fix the problem. Now, since you changed your motherboard, I think you put your memory in the wrong slots. So I, I, I know you said it's not, but I'm going to go check for sure. But don't deviate from anything on that list, you devil. And I mean exactly how it says it on that list. Do it exactly, please. Don't, don't change anything or... Don't go changing to try to please me. No. Yeah, you got to keep it exactly how it is. Don't, don't, don't change anything. We'll go right down that list. And I'm going to look up something real quick here. I know you looked at your book. And, and you know, as far as like what slots to put the memory in, so I believe you do have them in the right one, but I want to go look up some shit on that board here. And I appreciate everybody hanging out and waiting, because I would do the same thing for you. I mean, if you guys had an issue or something was going on, you know, I would do the same thing. I would stop what I'm doing. Yeah, so you're going to use the MSI audio. That's cool. So you got them in the right ones. But we A2 and B2, so that's correct, you devil. No, I think you got some other, I think you got one of those other issues going on.
Right. Well, no, what I'm saying is, though, are you gonna, I want you to go down that list, like I said, do each one of those things that it says to do. You know, we've already updated Windows, right? You're gonna disable Windows 10 Fast Start, right? As you do each one, make sure you tell me you did it, right? See, it says we're shut down, settings, turn on Fast Startup, right? This helps your PC start, you know, fast after shutting down, right? Make sure you disable that. Then you're going to reseat your RAM and graphic card. Which obviously got to turn it And then we're going to run check disk after you do all that. And this is the easiest way to pull up the menu is if you do this. If you press the Windows key and X, most people don't realize this. Oh, good. Yeah, do this. Most people, you guys, this is a good tip for you, right? When you're out on your desktop, I need to get into something real quick. Right? What you can do is you can press the Windows icon key, right? Tile key between Control and Alt on the left, and the X key, and it'll bring up this right here. Right, and this is how you can get in here and get to your where your power options are real fast. See. And this is what we were talking about with Shida with turning off the, on the power and sleep. Can't find that stupid fast start up here. What else is that? Alright, you devil, we'll be here. So for everybody that's following along, okay, that's how you get into there, right? And then you're going to pull up the command prompt. And you, this is how you're going to do your check disk R. She has to specify on the check disk that she wants it to check the other disk. Because she's got two hard drives. And I've never did this other one, this uh, DISM restore health command. I've never used that one before. That's a new one on me. I'm going to bookmark this because... I've never seen that one before. Yeah. I've never seen that command before. And then this other tool that they recommend is it's a free GP, CPU, GPU, PS, power side stress testing tool. Test your CPU, GPU, and motherboard in the process. And it's here, apparently. Give you guys a link. And apparently it's free. Personal use only, yeah. Which we are, obviously. 
So this will test your motherboard of motherboard and your power supply and your GPU apparently. You guys can use that program. Look inside. Oh yeah, she showed me that she's got her memory in the right slot. Good G Devil. Perfect. Yep. Good. G skills. She's got good memory. Yeah, because if you try to put your memory in the wrong slots, most of the time the computer won't even boot. You know it's going to do that. So. Ah, oh, cool, man. I got a dislike. Nice. It's probably that guy I told to F off. Just tactical when I tried to help She-Devil. And this guy started coming in saying, Oh, do you have this installed? Do you have that installed? Do you have I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up, man. It's like, what the hell? Who are you? Don't even know you. You're just coming on here and you start, like, confusing the issue. You know, it's like me when I was trying to explain to you about, you know, buying a computer and what to get and how to do stuff. 
you know, and then Sharon's interested, so I started telling him, but you need to get somebody else that pops in and, oh, no, computers suck, get a console, or, you know, they want to argue, oh, no, AMD's better than Intel, and I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, they're really not that much difference other than AMD has more cores and more threads, so, yeah, it's better, but you pay a price for that, man. People with AMD processors have a tendency to have more problems when it comes to running Windows. Because Windows, that's how Windows is. Their Windows seems to run better with Intel processors, but it runs great with AMD video cards. It doesn't matter. But I just noticed with CPUs sometimes, man, you can run into an issue. And if you do go AMD, you got to go AMD all the way. You know, the motherboard, and then your video card, you want to match them at that point. If you're going to have an AMD CPU, you better damn well have an AMD GPU. Because you try to run NVIDIA, then it really gets all psycho crazy. Hey, IE, what's up, man? How are you today? What is the good word, man? What are you up to? Why can't I not move my character? My character is like standing in one spot, not moving. I'm stuck. <clears throat> so hell, she devil's having a crazy problem with her computer. Wow, you got to, hey, Sharon, man. <laughs> we were just talking shit about you, Sharon. You're so funny. Explain. So you think you can tell? Heaven from hell? Blue sky from rain? Mm -hmm. Can you? Can you tell me? Oh, yeah, what did you do? Oh, nothing. We were talking about, um, you know, computers and stuff, and I was getting ready to tell Just Tactical that you had called up Dell, and the sales guy tried to get you to buy an Alienware for $4,600. And I'm like, well, yeah, because they work on commission. <laughs> so the, the more they can pad the fucking price the more money they're going to put in their pocket. Okay, why is my keyboard not working? Oh, man, what the hell is going on, man? It's weird. All of a sudden, I don't have a keyboard. Well, that works. Then why can't I move? What the fuck is going on with my arrow keys? Mm -hmm. Oh, weird. Okay, all my movement keys are correct. Oh, you know what? I don't know. No. no, why can't I do my arrow keys? What the fuck? Arr, that's not right. Looks like my arrow keys doesn't want to work in the game. Sentry 24-7. Wish you were here too, man. Welcome, man. I don't know what happened. Also, my um, freaking keyboard stopped working in the game. Which I have no idea why. That's a little bizarre. 
The other thing she has to have is this Intel rapid storage, but that's not as critical. Yeah, it's really weird, man. All of a sudden, my um, arrow key's not working in the game. Bizarre. Well, that's why what I did is I gave Sharon the specs that you had. I told him these are the what these is what just tactical. Ah, uh, no AIE. I'm gonna wait for the Cyber uh, Black Friday Cyber Monday. I went on freaking that Amazon one um, the other day when they had the, on the 12th and 13th at their Amazon Prime sale. The freaking crap was more expensive than last year, and it was just junk. There was like old products, and there was nothing good. No Logitech G, you know, gaming series keyboards or mouse is what I want to get. None of those at all. Like, none. But yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on with my freaking... What the hell's going on with my freaking arrow keys on my keyboard? What the fuck? Yeah, what the hell? Why is one of my arrow keys not work? That's like totally bizarre, man. No, also my arrow keys don't work. Why? Yeah, also my arrow keys like literally will not work on this keyboard at all. What the fuck? I haven't touched this. I mean, we're sitting here playing, so it's not like I did anything to my... I went out to the desktop, did some shit out there. Don't think I messed anything up out there on my desktop. Yeah, this is weird. All of a sudden, I can't use the arrow key on this keyboard. All the other keys work, but the arrow keys don't work. Which, literally, it's just sitting here, so it doesn't make any sense. I haven't touched it or anything. That is like totally effing fucking bizarre. What the hell just happened to my freaking game, man? This is totally bizarre. Totally bizarre. just happened to my freaking keys no it, it's not working no idea what's going on with my keyboard it's like totally bizarre Oh yeah, his sister, it's, let me fire, I gotta fire up a different game to see what the hell's going on. I don't know what the hell's going on. 
It's like also my keyboard just like the arrow keys aren't working in GTA 5. So I gotta fire something up, up real quick to see if I got arrow keys. I don't know what the hell just happened, man. I didn't touch anything. I didn't do anything. Just sitting here talking to She Devil, and also my arrow keys are defunct. Totally bizarre. Yeah, he got a really good price. Like I said, your forty six hundred is too much. That's, there's no logical reason why it'd be 4,600. None. Other than commission, sales commission, but I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on with my keyboard all of a sudden. That's like totally bizarre. Bizarre. Well... If it works in this game, then I know it's not my keyboard. If it doesn't work in this game, then for some strange, bizarre reason, I'm going to have to figure out why my keyboard decided to go wacky on me. We'll know here in a second. Exactly. All right, she double that's all done. Okay, then the next thing you're gonna do, I have to reseed all your memory, right? Reseed, okay, then what you're gonna do is, now let's see if it works. Now entering a safe area. Yeah, also my keyboard's not working. What the hell is going on with? Also, my keyboard doesn't work. My, those keys. It's like totally freaking bizarre. Makes no sense how also my arrow keys stop working on my keyboard. Like, I mean, everything else works and my arrow keys stop working. I mean, how in the hell can just my arrow keys stop working? Everything else works. Every other key works on my keyboard, and I'm sitting here with you guys, and and all of a sudden the arrow keys just aren't working. Literally. Yeah. All of a sudden my arrow keys just don't work. Out of the sky blue. Like without touching anything at all. I never touched anything at all. Yeah, didn't didn't do anything to this keyboard. I'm just sitting here with you guys, and all of a sudden now it doesn't work. Yeah, see, I can't put. What the fuck? What the hell's going on with this? With some pen settings? Oh my god! What the fuck is this crap? This is why my keyboard's not working. Cause somehow some got some stupid pin settings or something?
Yeah, what the F is going on? Oh my God. It has to be some fucking window setting that's causing this. I have no idea. It has to be a window setting that's doing this. Doesn't make any sense because all of a sudden. All right, so you're gonna, now you're going to do check disk, right? First. But when you do check disk, you need to make sure it's checking that other drive too. See number four, what it tells you to do number four. Yeah, this is bizarre. Also, my keyboard is not working, and I can't figure out why. It's like weird. Also, my fucking keyboard doesn't work. <sighs> what the hell is going on? Oh, there. Now it's working. See? Now I got my arrow keys back. Well, that's weird. All right. Let's try this again. No, I don't do, my updates don't do, don't work like that, AIE. No, it's something else that's stupid going on, man. That's all. No, nope, see, they're working now, see. I can scroll with them now. Just, who knows. So it goes. Good morning to yourself. Yep, some, something stupid. That's all. So anyways, Sharon. Let me, one more time, let me show you, bro. Oh, shit, I closed up the wrong. Closed up my Discord. All right, so you're going to do number four, which is the check disc, right? But you want, when you do check disc... Right, you have to make sure you make sure it checks the other disk, not just your SSD drive. You know I mean, you got to change, you got to have it check the other drive. Does that make sense, She Devil? And do you know how to do that? If you don't, you have to put the parameters for that drive. Or else it's not going to check that drive. It'll just check your SSD. So you got to make sure you tell, you designate that D drive. Okay. All right, good. Now, after you do that, okay. And before you run the system file checker, you need to run that DISM, right? You're gonna run this as a as an administrator, okay? I never even heard of this program, but apparently you're gonna do this one. Whoops, I'm gonna try this. Same thing from the command prompt as an administrator, you're gonna run this one. Yeah, I've never even heard of that one before. All right, let's see if I get my frickin' mouse back now. I mean, my arrow back. Yep, there you go. Arrow's back. Okay. No problem, man. We're good to go. Yeah, you're gonna run that. I've never even used that one, so I might use that on customers' computers. And it says it takes like 20 minutes or so to do that if you look at that article. 
It says, wait for the command to complete the process. It can take up to 20 minutes depending on your system. How the process seems stuck at certain times, but don't, it, don't worry about it, it will complete. Now, and when that's done, then we're gonna do the, the S, you know, system file checker forward slash scan now one more time, okay? Then when all that's done, you're gonna run this. And this is gonna tell us if you got a frickin' power supply problem, you're gonna go to this website and you're gonna download this and install that and see if that's what the issue is. If you have some type of hardware power issue or something else stupid going on. Yeah, it was bizarre how we lost the mouse for a second there, huh? I mean the um, air up arrow key for a second. That was weird. All right. So give me one second, Sharon, and then we'll, I'm going to talk about your computer. Coffee will make it back up here. All right, here we go. <coughs> All right, so we got that going on, got that. See, we're moving now, folks. Moving to the grooving. Mm -hmm. Just when it hit me. Elite Soapy. Wow. Cow from Canada just left. The Canadian cow just left. Keep your eyes open and it's more prey. Because that's natural selection. You know, like on the Nature Channel, like, you know, when the lion's just humping shit, man. Now think on that while you listen to this next track. Another Dr. No Extreme hashtag alert exclusive. Yo, it's time to stand up right now and make way for the homie E40 featuring damn funk in Aerial Pink, California. Shit, yeah, this one has the um, RTX 3080 video card. This one right here, 
like the hotel. Mm. West Coast? 2200 bucks, man. Person to bring this shit to life. California. This is all you need. You don't need to add anything to this at all. Just buy the thing the way it is, man. Exactly how it is. Don't, don't do anything to this. Right here, 2200, man. It should take you right to that one right there. Yep, there you go. That's all you need right there, Sharon. That's a better... Sorry, uh, Just Tactical, but that has a better video card than what you have. You don't have the 3080, do you, with 10 gigs? So that's all you need, Sharon, right there. Just click, uh, you don't need to add anything to that at all, man. I don't think... You could add a larger hard drive if you wanted. Is all I would do. It's got a 512. I would put an additional hard drive on there. You scroll down to where hard drives are. Right? I would go with um, the um, dual drive. Right? Which is the 512 and the uh, 2 terabyte. They were 80 bucks more. So there you go. Do that one right there. I'm gonna give you a new link. That'll give you a 512 SSD to boot on. That one. That's even better. Why well, no? But this is their new one, bro. You know what I mean? You you were just you could you were chomping at the bit. Remember I told you to wait. You didn't want to wait. I said if you wait a little bit, you you know they're gonna have better, a little bit better. But that I mean I know you're happy. His is basically the same thing. He's just going to get that that 3080 video card, Sharon, has only been out on the market two weeks. Okay, and that video card by itself is $1,500 just for the video card. It's $1,500. And you can get that whole system. Well, I, I they're not going to have that deal then. That deal is not going to be there. It may not be there. You know what I mean? So yeah, the one I just, the link I just gave you, that link I just put in there, that will give you the one, well, that's, I mean, you could call them up and say, I want this computer. And if I buy it now and Black Friday comes up and it has it cheaper, you're going to give me the difference. You know what I mean? Okay, shot. Elite Sophie, what's up? Okay, Ken. You're so freaking weird. Do you need help with anything today? Oh, who, me? Yeah. Well, there's only two of us on the server. Well, I don't know. I'm just driving all the way to my business. This nice. Thing. Okay. Trying to get it, like, four mil. Nice. I, like, just started this game, like, Two weeks ago, probably, or not even two weeks, a week ago. Well, you doing quite well. Modders just got in my game and like gave me money and stuff. Just came up to me and just found those stuff. Made oh, errors cool. all over my screen. Okay. Well, just a I word of caution. It's nice getting stuff from people, but be careful because sometimes you get punished by Rockstar. You know what I mean? You gotta be careful. Oh, you can. Oh yeah, you can get your account reset. What'll happen is you'll start your game up and you'll be poor. You'll be standing on the street with just the clothes on your back. They take everything from you, all your money, your apartment, your business, your cars, everything. They leave you homeless, wandering the streets of Los Santos. So you can go tell your woes to all your friends about how you started up the game and you were homeless. <laughs> so be careful, okay? That's all I'm warning you. Yeah, it's it's nice getting it. It gets you get all excited because you're like, oh my god, these people are dropping. But see, they don't care because they're modders, 
and they have whole bunches of accounts. You know, a lot of these guys have over a dozen accounts, so they don't care. See, and you're innocent, so you don't know what's going on, so yeah, they're gonna hose you, man, so just be careful. Just, just right. with a word of caution, you know what I mean? It's nice getting free stuff from people, but nothing is free in life, correct? Right? There's always, yep. yeah, there's always, okay. But if you need any help today, if you want to hire me, you need any help, just let me know. Other than that, I'll just leave you alone and I won't bother you and do your thing. Okay? All right. So don't worry, I'm not going to... I'm streaming on YouTube. So if you want to tell your friends to come over to Sergeant Nick Fury's stream and they can see you, you can do that too. If you have anybody that wants you want to let them check you out, you can always do that, bro. You can be a star for 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> All right. Cool. So how much subscribers do you have? I don't know, like 9,000. Something like that. Wow. Just a few. So, yeah. So just in case you want to hit up any of your friends and say, Dude, I'm playing GTA 5 and I'm online on YouTube. You'll come check me out. But like I said, other than that, I won't bother you. Okay, so you just do your thing. But if you need help, just say, hey, Sarge, can you come and let me hire you and help me run this mission? I'll be more than happy, man. I don't think I need to hire you for this one, but I'm, like, stealing these supplies. Yeah, but I'm I just saying, if you, you do, you like... that's, if you do, you just, don't worry about it, just, right. you know, do your thing. Give me a shout, I'll be here. So yeah, that one, that link I just gave you will take you to that other one. Yeah, he sounds pretty young, Thomas. That's why. I'm not going to, you know, get on his shit because he's young. Yeah, that's the one with the 512 M2 and the 2 terabyte. That's $2,269.99. And no interest if paid within 12 months. But you're not going to get a better deal because that N NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 card is $1,500 frickin' dollars, man, just for that video card. So they're basically giving you the computer for free is what you're getting. Yeah, because there's no way you could go out and buy all those parts for $2,200, man. That's literally impossible. It's literally. But yeah, that's. I, I, there's no way they're going to sell that cheaper at Black Friday or Cyber or Black Friday or Cyber Monday. That's There's no way they're going to sell you that cheap. Oh. Uh. <sighs> yeah, I'd say he's somewhere probably about. 13 or 14, comically. All right, so she devil. D I and what did it tell you? Everything's okay. Obviously, that was fast too. That thing tested your whole system, everything. That was good. Oh no, AIE, that's, 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 that's not a bad price. Wait, what did you say your YouTube was? Same as my, Same username. As my username, Sergeant Nick Fury. Sergeant Nick Fury. I keep everything simple, man. Same, only one name. Me. 
disappear if you disable a yo. The lean on the main get full of no. Nobody not believe it. No, you should have known. Okay, so how's she double? After you do that, right? Right, you ran that test and said that came out fine, right? Okay, now you can do the... Um, this one more time. The system file checker. Cool. That one. Hey, zip kill. Well, you know what? She Devil and I got these for free, bro. What you can do is, yeah, you, you call up, you call up, um, Meriwether for a hit on one of your friends. Okay. And then when they show up, you can, um, jump inside this vehicle and get it. And then you only have to go insure it for 7,500 bucks. So instead of spend, spending the 8700 you can get a black one or you can get a green one. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, if you just go over here, you know, you do that whole Meriwether thing on your phone where you hire, hire Meriwether to go kill one of your friends. Which is sort of cool. Yeah, she devil and I did this. So what happens is the person they're trying to kill, they'll just keep showing up. So the other person jumps in one of the vehicles and takes off with it. You know what I mean? Then you take turns. Does that make sense? Because you're not, it's hard to get away from these guys. You Eventually you can. She you know, Hello, you're through to Meriwether Security Consulting. Yeah, what can I do for you? Call mercenaries to, to attack another player. Can try to sell 7,500. It's Charles Peterson, you're listening to Worldwide FM. So what you do is you steal it. She devil had 10 waves. There's four guys in the car. So she had like 40, 50 guys came. So we had a shitload of them sitting there to take. I had to drive one on the rim to Los Santos. But yeah, you just repair it for a couple hundred bucks, insure it. Goodbye then. So that's the cheapest way to get a vehicle. To get this. Like I said, if you need some help, help, bro, you can always hire me. I can always I can cancel my um, CEO and give you. Yeah, this one's kind of hard. Like, I, if you see me on the map, I have to go in this villa place and beat up these people for supplies. Yep, no problem. Yeah, they're killing me with an eye. You guys got to the desert? Is that where you're going? Yeah, see, Normac, I can't see what you're doing unless I'm in your group. And I won't like. Well, how do I invite you to my group? Well, hold on, I gotta quit, then you can hire me. What you're gonna do? You're gonna go into your. Um... Oh, I don't. I'm not even registered. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your motorcycle, your, your motorcycle one, right? You know, let's say look for associates, and you're gonna scroll through that to see my name, and you're gonna send me an invite. And I can pull it up now. You won't be able to do it because you're on a mission right now. Okay, so I'm gonna just get yeah, I'm, I'm, I have the supplies. I'm gonna deliver them. Okay, cool. Do so you your thing? and then talking to people on the screen over here. So that's the easiest way to get these vehicles and not have to pay for them, just tactical. You just call in, you know, you have to pay 75 bucks. But then you switch off, you know what I mean? So that way you, you both end up with them. So it makes, it makes it worth it in the long run. So that's basically, you know, you save yourself $80,000.
you know us, man, we like to do everything on the cheap, right? If we can. Wait, what'd you say? Well, I'm talking to people on the stream, too. Sorry, bro. Oh. And where are you taking your supplies back to? Your bunker? Is that what you're doing, a bunker one? Um, no, it's not a bunker. It's like... So I oh. have this business that okay. I got off the motorcycle club app. Ah, good. And it's like counterfeit. this money place. Counterfeit it has like one. a dollar bill. Yep, counterfeit. Copy that. Cool. Let's see if we can spawn us some over here. Then after I deliver these, I'm gonna invite you to the thing, and I'm gonna go over to my bunker to get that get more supplies for that one. Cool. And where's your bunker located at? Up in um, Palado, North Palado. It's in the Palato Cove or something. Yeah, Palato, Palato, North Palato. Yeah. Yep. That's the freebie one they gave us too. The free bunker. Yeah, yeah, that one. Cool. All right, I'll meet you up there. Yeah, because my motorcycle, like that business gun blade, and it flies out to the ball to my bunker. I'll meet you there. Well, since your bunker is up there, I'm assuming your arcade is up there too, then, right? Probably that's where you maybe. Well, I don't know how long, I don't know how long you've been playing for, but. Oh, no, but if your bunker's up there, that's a good thing because did you know you can get a free helicopter there all the time when you need it? An attack helicopter? Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yeah, we don't buy that, man. We got, there's several places that spawn the Buzzard Attack helicopter and it also spawn the Cargo Bob helicopter, so you get those for free, bro. Screw spending 1.8 million on something I can get for free. Uh, that's not happening. I use that money for other shit, right? For buying property and doing stuff, yeah. Now, this is what I'm known for, man. I'm a frugal. Show you how to spawn all the Easter egg vehicles for free. There's like 27 cars you can get in the game for free. Alright, LC Double, got that one done? Cool. Alright, so the last thing. Now, the system file check all that. When you did check this, did you do check disk on your D drive? Or did you do check disk on the SSD on the C drive? Because you need to check the um, D drive. I, I downloaded this game on the right. D drive. Mm -hmm. Roll down your windows and share this and the ra way you do that is open up Windows Explorer and you go to that D drive and go to properties 
and there's an option to scan it that way. Okay, alright. Wanna make sure you scan the hard drive. Okay, so last thing you're gonna do is, is you're gonna run the um, OC. Hey, are you talking to me or are you talking to your stream? I'm talking to stream, bro. Somebody's having a computer problem, so I'm helping them. That's the last thing you're gonna do, CW. You're gonna download that and you're gonna run that. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna test your motherboard, your power supply, all that crap. It's gonna stress test it to see if we have some type of issues. So far, it sounds like everything is working pretty damn good, Two Devil. Whatever the issue is, you might have resolved it. All those tests are working out good. Problems, keep them to yourself, man. She devil took my whole day out working on her computer. And knows this, don't get a guilt, guilt trip. I'm just, I'm just laughing because she's literally, since I started the stream this morning, I've been working on her computer. But that's how it is some days. It happens. All you gotta do is once you get the fly thing done, you can hire me and show you how to do it. I'm right here by your bunker. Yep. You just have to open up your menu and send me an invite. I offered to recruit you. All right. buy them when they're down at 15k when it's like the last one and I don't do any of the research because I don't own an Avenger or mobile operations center and that's the only way you can use all that crap there's no sense in doing research so you buy one of those things so right now I just put all my money into stock and then 
short sales. You don't want to sell, you don't want to let it get more than $210,000 or else you can have multiple vehicles. You want to keep it under two hundred and ten for Los Santos, you'll be good to go with one vehicle. If it goes over two hundred and ten, you're going to have to get another person to help you. Just to let you know. But right now, the most important thing to do is like, you know, special cargoes because they're paying double. You can buy crates at 18000 right? They might mainly work but government contracts, but that doesn't make Meriwether security even nearly the good guys. Not like us. You've got the green light to resupply well, with some rail guns they've got lab. at Humane Labs. Take what you can and go back to the base. Right. So jump on in. You inside? Cool. All right. Now, do you have body armor? You got armor? Um, no, I do not have armor. Body armor? No, I don't. All right, we're gonna stop right here at the gun store. This is a nice thing about having our bunker here. You can also, there's an arcade right there. My arcade's right here. So at first, I was a little bummed about being over here. But then I realized that that has an advantage because this helicopter spawns right there at the police station, you know, right there at the sheriff station. So spawn these helicopters. Whoops, be careful. <coughs> Excuse me. Spawns the helicopter there all the time. So you can always get an attack helicopter here for free. And I'll show you how to do that after we get back into an merry weather one. That's easy. And don't worry about all the weird guns in this game. The like atomizer and the unholy hellbringer and all that. Those guns are a joke. What you want to do is get your regular guns and then upgrade them to Mark II. You own the oh, arc. Yeah, arc I bought the atomizer thing. Yeah, those things are a joke, them. man. They don't. A modder yeah, put those. Good. Yeah, a modder put those in my account, and I told Rockstar, and they let me keep them. They didn't take them out, so which is sort of cool. So, but they're yeah, uh, a gun. modder gave me the uh, unholy Hellbringer and the yeah mini gun. Yeah. I don't like them. They're not that good. You gotta upgrade your weapons in this game, man. That's the whole trick. So that's why I said you own an arcade? Oh, I do not own an arcade. Okay, do you own uh, the Avenger or the Mobile Operations Center yet? No, I own a nightclub, though. Okay, yeah. So eventually, when you get the arcade, you're gonna set it up for the heist, right? Doing your casino heist. And when you do that, there's a workshop there that you can go over there and upgrade your weapons. Like, I should be able to hire you after we do a couple of these, and we can switch, and I can hire you, and you should be able to go in there and upgrade your weapon at my gunsmith. To Mark II, and that may give you badass weapons, better barrels, more stopping power. Yeah, the, you know, so that's the whole trick, is to upgrade your weapons. The Mark II, right? Mark II, you can do that to all of them. There's two things that supplies, by the way. Mm -hmm. There's the circles. We got 26 minutes. Oh, we got plenty, dude. Time. We have plenty of time to do this, bro. I can do this in less than 10 minutes by myself, man. Just relax. <laughs> That's, this is easy, man. Easy. Just relax. Super easy, man. We had to go to the military base. That was super hard. Nah, man. You know what you gotta do? Is, is that when you go get the tank? Uh, you have to go no, in the hangar and get the tank we... and bring it back to the bunker? Yeah, I already did the tank one, but it was one where you had this all this body armor on, you had a minigun or something, and there was two trucks. Oh, that's we like a doomsday heist. A doomsday heist mission you must have did with somebody. All right, so make sure you have your armor all maxed out, okay? Your armor all maxed oh, yeah, out. You okay, make sure you put your little oh, armor you? on. Not letting me put all... Oh, I already have armor on. Yep, just make sure that you know where it's at because you're going to use it a couple times, okay? Trust me, all right? Don't go in here yet. Don't start shooting until I get my gun ready. All right, hold on. What do you prefer the best they are? Carbine? Uh -huh. Stay behind me, bro. 
Chavo. You have been marked for termination. Accept it. <laughs> Sorry. Friendly fire is turned on, bro. You keep running in front of me, you're gonna get killed, dude. I hope you realize that. I'm gonna light you up and you're gonna die, so do me a favor. Don't walk in front of a, some guy walking with a mini gun, bro. That's a bad. Yeah, that's like serious. Like, seriously, you're gonna die. Yeah, you gotta realize friendly fire is turned on in these missions, man. You keep walking right in front of somebody, putting out freaking 500 rounds, freaking seconds. That's probably not a good thing to do. Probably like a bad thing. Did you thing get to this? Oh, yeah. Got a global signal going out. Okay. Don't worry about it. Shit, it's hunting you! Hunting you! Hunting you! Stop! Hunting you! Shit! Hunting you! 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 Hunting I mean, just make sure it's at 100% before you go through the door. Right. I have a we have infinite ammo on this gun? Don't worry, we have unlimited. We're good to go. Careful you don't shoot the helicopter. We got our copter right here. Ah oh, shit. That... What I just didn't want to do. Yeah, I just shot our healer. Our helicopter got blown up. Yep. So now we gotta go to plan B. Alright. There's a vehicle. Exactly. No problem then. I 
shouldn't have parked it on the door, but that's not a biggie. All right, so now you get to go shoot the rail gun out the window at the heroes that are following us. And they just said, we'll drive back. Oh, I don't have a rail gun. Okay, well, whatever you have to shoot. Whatever you want to pull up and shoot them with. Oh, did somebody explain to you what a modder is, Sharon? Yeah, this game you can do all sorts of things in. Now, most games use anti-cheat software, so people can't do that. But, Rockstar, in an effort to draw in more players, they don't use an anti-cheat software. If I get out, I can shoot a guided missile at them. And we're fine, bro. Just watch your arm. Just watch your, watch your armor and line your body armor. That's what's good to go. Yeah, I'm gonna put you in the bottom. Line your body armor. Why was Charlotte crying, kid? Oh no, we're tired. Line your body armor. That's what's good to go, man. I'm not worried about this guy. Is that much time we got? But we have 19 minutes to go, huh? Him driving too. You can drive everywhere on this map in five minutes. Everywhere. All the way from your bunker all the way down to. Santa Monica Pier, where the Ferris fair wheel is, and all that. Five minutes. And by the time we get back, you'll have like 16 and a half minutes to go. Give them this flight. Some people, yeah, they'll spend the 75 grand to buy their supplies. Which is you know, it's just stealing, man. So that the whole object is to make money in the game, and you don't have to. Yeah, and that spends all. <laughs> well, if by the time you do your supplies four times, you're gonna spend two hundred thousand dollars. You're not really, you're really not making the money that you think you're gonna make back. So. That's why I said I only do the last one for fifteen thousand. It's the only one that will be five. All the other ones I don't buy. should be able to jump out and go in and not just finish the mission, but see if we don't go to a cutscene. I don't think I have to get out. I think you just have to. Oh yeah, I think we both have to. Because what I'm trying to do is keep this Meriwether Jeep for you. You want to one of these Jeeps. Alright, go into that yellow thing. I'll see if it's even going to come out. Sometimes it'll respawn and you can just take this to the beakers around the corner and keep this for free. I have 48 grand. Fuck. All right then, that'll keep him busy. Five grand. Okay, so like I said, 48's really low. You want to get it to where you go in there and it's, um, you know, for selling in Los Santos, it's right around 200000 Now, with two people, you can go a little bit higher, so... But you want to get your supplies all the way maxed out. You want to keep stealing supplies so you can't steal them anymore. So that's usually two seventy-five thousand, a 60, a 40, and then a 30 or a couple. But research... 
See, you don't own all that crap, so take it off of research. You're wasting money on research that you're never going to get right now. See, the only way you can, when you unlock that stuff in research, the only way you can buy that or upgrade is if you own an Avenger. Do you own an Avenger? What's an Avenger? The plane that flies, the tilt wing aircraft, an Avenger. Oh yeah, I don't want that. Okay, how about a mobile operations center, the mock, mobile operation command center? Oh, is that like that truck? Yes. Yeah, I would like that. No, but do you own one? No. Okay, so if you go to your research and look, those only unlock if you own those. So by putting your supplies into research, you're wasting money, right? Right, right? Yeah. See, if you put it all into stock, then you can make a couple million and buy that. And then that research makes sense. See, then at that point, everything you're unlocking, you can actually go buy and upgrade the missile launcher and all the weapon parts and the night vision and the thermal and, you know, all that cool, all Which, those toys. See, right now you're just wasting is. money putting, in other words, all the supplies should go straight into stock so you can make money. Does that make sense? Wait, how do I stop researching? Go into your, your people, right? Go into your... Yeah. Yeah, and you can see, you can assign them. See, we can assign them to different areas, right? To you want me to assign them to manufacturing only? Correct. Manufacturing only. There you All go. Right. Cool. All right, so She-Devil, you didn't find any problems with anything. So at this point, let's fire up something else. Let's fire up Epic and try to fire up GTA or something, not you play and G and and not you play in Division One because buggy soft is buggy anyway. Yeah, so, yeah. So nothing into research. You want everything into manufacturing for all your people, and then watch how fast. Within a couple hours, you'll be up to 200k. And since there's, you know, That's so, nice. yeah, research. Okay, just, so I, I, I learned the same way you're doing. See, I had all my going into research, and then I realized that I'm locking, unlocking this shit, and I'm never going to be able to use it unless I go and buy one of those things. I'm like, well, that's stupid. I just want to make money. So what you want to do is steal some more supplies. You want to keep stealing supplies until that supply bar is all the way full. So you can't steal anymore. All right, so you want to steal some more? Yeah, you have to, bro. What, what bro, is the purpose of having a bunker? If you have a bunker, you're paying these guys like nine thousand freaking dollars in every two hours in the game, right? Yeah. Yeah, which you don't want to. An do, outlaw right? motorcycle operation's been moving arms around the state. Can't tell you who they're selling to, so as far as we're concerned, their supplies are yours. You can use our buggies to take out their vehicles right, now, and pick up what's left. Do you own a jeep like this? To... You own this? No, don't you worry know. about that buggy. Don't worry, we don't need that. We don't need that. There's a tire pop though. We don't, dude. Do me a favor. Get in here with me. I'm going to show you how to do this. Who knows how to play this game? <laughs> Who's got 9,000 followers, right? You or I? Yeah, I do not have Okay, do you own a, a Jeep like this? No. Okay, these are worth like nine, $90,000. We're going to go over to Beakers real quick. And if we can drive inside, I'm going to let you get in the driver's seat and you can drive in and keep this. All you got to do is insure it and then tell it to send it back to your garage. You don't have to upgrade it, just insure it. Pull it and you'll have this for free instead of spending $87,000. Then we'll go get an attack chopper and we'll go get the supply. Play any time. But you might be able to get this one for free. If not, then I'll show you a different way. I have two of these. Remember I told you I was gonna help you get the Easter egg cars and shit? Okay. The beaker's unavailable right now, see, because they're doing this stupid mission. See, had we not been on a supply <laughs> okay. supply run, um, we could, you could, I'll show you how to keep these, though. It's real easy to do. I have two of them. Cause these are sort of nice, because the lights work on here, the light bar on top. So if you're driving at nighttime up in the mountains, you can have all the floodlights come these on. These target truck ones are actually kind of hard. No, they're not. Super easy, man. Super easy. Okay, what you do is you come over here. See the sheriff's station? Right? 
see what's parked here. Okay, nice. Oh, this is gonna be much easier. Duh. Why do you think I like having my bunker where it's at, bro? <laughs> now, if it's not here, all you gotta do is drive around the block a couple times and come back. Okay, go ahead and jump in. The broken cheese, what's up, man? Alright, so it's gonna be real easy to do. Sorry, broken cheese, we're already on mission, so we won't be able to hire you. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. When you go there, if this attack buzz is not there, you drive up the street and come back, and it's gonna rotate between the other two helicopters, right? The big Black Hawk, right? The Border Patrol one, and the Frogger. Mm -hmm. So all you gotta do is, is drive around the block a couple times till this sucker spawns. Don't get all panicky. It may take five minutes, but don't worry about it, all right? And then you'll have one of these, and this makes your life a lot easier. Just by having the bunker where it's at, it's not really a bad thing. Aw, oh, the broken keys, thank you so much for the compliment. If you want to come over and watch us, we're on YouTube, start this Nick Fury. Alright, so she Devil, like I said, fire up your Epic software. Don't fire up Buggy Soft because that works like crap. And we'll see what we can do. Now, the way this stupid one works is, they never give us supplies until we destroy all four frickin' trucks, right? You know how that oh, yeah. stupid thing goes, I know. <sighs> you have a yeah, I'll put John as a friend, man, that's not a problem. Alright, so well, here we go. Let's go do the first one. When I get lucky now, it might be the first truck. No, but I don't think so. You can even send me a friend request. You can just open up, you know, the right now and go to online and go to players and highlight my name and say, you know, some Sergeant Fury friend request. Here, go so. to the left. There's one heading all the way back there. Actually, yep. don't, don't worry, bro. Right here. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. We got it, dog. We got it, man. Remember, we got to do all of them. So it's better to circle down and come back around and then we'll be headed back towards the bunker anyway. That one, correct? That makes it we go counterclockwise. That's what makes sense. There is a message in my madness. You guys see him? Oh yeah, I think we're okay though. Yeah, it's easy for it. Okay, well what I do is I usually run a PP server, right? So this guy's underneath. Okay, let's go over here. So if you see me disappear, you just come and rejoin on me. That's all you gotta do. Alright. So what I do is I go in there and suspend the game and then He's leave. coming out the side. Yep, I know. You got him. Okay. You got him. Right there. Get him. No We're okay. No. We're okay. There you go. Easy peasy, man. No, you don't even have to even get out, man. Right? You don't even have to even get out of the helicopter. Now come back. You have to jump back in. Yep, now jump back in. Yep. Rip, rip, rip. Jump, jump. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Quick, 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 man, quick. I'm gonna leave your ass, man, about two seconds, dude. Silly. Yeah, don't get out of the hill. If I tell you to get out, then get out. Now the next one, you're going to get out and get the next supply. Okay? Because I already picked up one with a helicopter. See how that works? Damn. Ooh, don't say damn to me like that, young man. I will smack you. I said dang. Okay. See, there you go. See, now we got our other supply that we need. See, easy peasy, man. All right. Oh, I did. But don't, I know, I know, I know. Don't worry, dog. I'm gonna get him before we jump, before we do it now. We're all, it's all good. It's all good, and we're good. Oh. I'm gonna go there and see it. 
We're not eating those. If you can shoot them, go ahead and shoot them. But you know what I mean, if you can't, don't sweat the small stuff. But did, now you can jump out and get the other supplies real quick. Go ahead and grab the other one. All right, we need to get to the bunker now. That's it, man. Hey, okay. cheese. We can invite you to the uh, playing after this mission. What is that? Be in our teammate. Yeah. Thanks. Tomorrow we're back on. That easy. <laughs> Are you talking about the song, cheese? Hey, 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 man! Don't mess oh, with yeah. my, hey, man! Jamaica, man! Jamaica, she loves you, man! You do not mess with the Jamaica, man! The Jamaica, she brings us the gift from God, man! The ganja, man! The ganja, the mother plant, man! I think I know how to make that face. So, Sophie, isn't this a little easier doing it this way with an attack chopper? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, where does it say that? Yeah, the, you gotta listen to the words, man. Yeah, that's what he says in there. He likes to suck on the pussy, man. <laughs> are, you, are you kidding? You haven't heard anything yet, man. You're you're rolling with Sergeant Fury, man. You haven't heard anything. Matter of fact, everyone, see, we're streaming live right on YouTube. So, that being said, hold on. Time for a commercial. Yeah, do commercial. All right, everyone, ready for a commercial? Welcome everyone to the Sergeant Nick Fury Show. And our sponsor today, of course, is Trojan Man. Men, are you confused by names like bear and otter? Mm, so am I. So, Trojan Man has the perfect answer for all of us. Trojan Man Ultra Thins, designed to take you and your partner to the ultimate pleasure place you're looking to go. So remember, men, Trojan Man, your GPS in this confusing sexual world. Proud sponsor of the Sergeant mm -hmm. Nick Fury Show. Now, back to the music. God, them spot. Hell yeah. We all, we all know, man. Don't now be a fool. Shoot me. that uh -oh. tool. We all know that. Come on. Sharon, you're going to be right back? All right, Sharon. Well, I haven't heard from She-Devil. Tell me that her computer is blown up and crashed, so... Looks like we get to do one more supply run. Good work. That's what these labs run on. Hell yeah. Hey, motorcycle club. Yeah, you don't keep these fools working? They'll just sit around and frickin' smoke frickin' cigarettes all day long, man, and do jack shit, and they'll get, like, we have to pay them that extra 600 bucks a week. Right, Unemployment you. bullshit. So you'll be applying for a PPP loan and all that crap from Uncle Sam, man. Dude, I got these guys to the bunker, man. I can't pay them, man, because of COVID-19. And you got a payroll protection program going on. Yeah. Well, I'm still playing my, paying my nightclub, dude. I'm not even, like, keep, I wish I could sell that. I don't even no. know what that. No. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that next. Get the supplies up there, young stud muffin, and then we'll go on to the next adventure. <laughs> okay. Okay, resupply, fuel supply. Please, would you like to drive us there? No, no, no. Calm down. Let's see how we're going to do the supplies first. Don't make any command decisions yet. For this resupply, you're going up to the altruist camp. Oh, this is so easy. Jump in the chopper. Everyone get to the chopper now. <laughs> 
sorry, please. <laughs> Get to the chopper now. <laughs> Alright, this is so easy, Elite Soap. You're gonna do this like this every time. Alright? Super freaking colleges. Right. Oh, never mind. I'm on, I was gonna say something else, but I wanna show my freaking age. Oh, I'm driving the fucking Prez. Hell yeah. Got me 600 fucking RPs. Nice. All right. So what you going to do? You're going to get to about approximately this area right here, right? I'll pay for this one this time. You're going to open up your phone, right? We're going to call up Meriwether, right? No, no, no. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm calling him. No, no, no. I'll pay for it this time, okay, okay. man. It'd be my treat. I'm the F down. You're through to Meriwether Security Consulting. What can I do for you? All right. So Your Meriwether Air Team is on its way. Yeah. See, we're not going here. We're going over here. They're going to follow us to this next location. See? They're not, they're not going there. We're going to this other spot over here. So we're going down here. I just wanted them here with me. Yo. Cool. Yeah, we're going down here. Okay, here they come. They're gonna come over here and attack these people over here with us. This way you know you kill everybody for sure. And then this is super easy. You just go down there, jump in the vehicle, and drive it back to your bunker. Oh, these might be crates, but that's a grab crate, it looks like. So did, did you hire... Yeah, see, now he's making it over there, folks. No. Oh my god, we just lost somebody. Oh yeah, that's cheese. cheese yeah, did you, did you hire cheesy already? Yeah, I did. Alright, good. We have a parachute too. Well, because there's three crates, so all three of us have to get that crate. We're here now! Okay, so then no, what they'll do is they'll oh, F up the rest of the dudes. I could have come over here first and did it, but... Solid. Definitely didn't just hit a tree and uh... Yeah, but it, you always want to call in Merriweather when you have to take on these Alturas dudes and Merriweather will F everybody up and then you just get in and get the crates and you're gone. Whether it's here or up on top of the mountain, that's a crazy place that they live. Yeah, Can you stop, tell Caden to stop calling us on Discord? And stop. Come over here and grab the supplies. Everybody grab one, right? Okay. Now this rat truck right here, this thing spawn, spawns in Strawberry at midnight, the homeless camp underneath the 10 freeway in downtown LA with all the junk on it. That's an Easter egg, because if you try to get the one that's in the in the book, in the, um, the uh, auto dealer, it doesn't come with all the junk. If you want one that looks cool with a whoa. If you want one with all the junk, then you gotta... Good cheese, I'll go over to the other side. Yeah, no problem. Everybody in. Yeah. Everybody in. Broken cheese, you're in. Good. Be so be cool. Alright, see? Easy, easy, man. Another easy mission, man. See, 25 minutes left. <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much. You're so sweet. See? Look at how much time you have. See? Almost 26 minutes, know, we were right? done. Like right, four minutes into the mission, we were done. And they can't get you, right? So having a bunker up here, I know a lot of your friends will say, oh, dude, that sucks. You got a bunker up there. You're screwed, man. Just tell them, yeah, but I'd have to spend $2 billion and I get an attack chopper all the time for free. So, you know what I mean? That's $2 million you get to spend on other items. Does that make sense? Like cars and clothes and guns and you know the, the fun stuff in the game that you like to buy. Now what's cool is you land right on that icon and it'll just go into the animation and when we come out this attack chopper will still be sitting there for you. So don't get out. But go right here. You land here. Take a wire out. And go right in the animation when you come out the chopper will still be here so that way you can keep using this chopper every time as long as you don't blow the chopper up it's going to be here and you can fill up your all your supplies 
Then we can go off and do, I'll show you some other cool things that we can see. Now your supplies are full. All right. Well. Yeah. Right. Okay, now come out and I'll show you how to make some real good money real fast now. See? I haven't thought of that. You're like, we're not making it fast enough? Nope, we're going to make it faster. You guys are going to make you $50,000 in 15 minutes. How's that? Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> and you don't have to do anything but just sit there and chill out. Not to lift a finger. Everyone get to the chopper. <laughs> but you are going to pick the missions, though, Sophie. Because you're the CEO. Okay. So, you have, you're all done your supplies, you get your chopper, then we're going to fly out to Sandy Shores, right? You guys know where Sandy Shores is, right? Um, I guess I'll know what that is when we get Sandy there. Shores is straight ahead, <laughs> right in front of us at our 12 o'clock, so you go to the mountains. In real life, it's the Salton Sea in Southern California. So I lived here for 54 years in Southern California. So I know everything on this map. Everything, bro. In real life. I mean, I can take you everywhere here. It's time to flood y'all with the next joint. So, by the homies waves. I know, you like So this map is based on an actual real place in real Los life. Angeles, California. Yep. LA. Cool. Okay, and this is the salt and sea. Yep, okay, and there's geez, four. I did not know that yep. 450 real landmarks in here that are just like LA. All right, stop, go, go cheat. All right, hold on. Now, what you're gonna do is, Sophie, you're gonna open up your work, your CEO work, right? Oh, I'm president. Yeah. Oh, are you, t are you yeah. talking about like my building? No, 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 go to your interaction menu, right? All right. Go to work, see how it has work? CEO work, VIP work, you know, our work. See that? I see motorcycle club president. Okay. Oh, you're a motorcycle club. You're not a CEO. You're a motorcycle. It's a difference. You want me to quit the club and become a CEO at my building? Yeah, and then you get you need to hire it that way. Correct. Or I can do it. Doesn't right. matter. Matter of fact, let me do it. You quit, and I'll hire you guys, and I'll show you. Yeah, you do that, and I'll I'll start mine up, and I'll hire you guys for mine. Hey, you know, so I'll hire you guys. Alright, so there's a leak so deep. And broken sheet. Okay, so folks, so you guys go ahead and join me. How do I accept that? On your phone. Go into your phone. Oh, okay. You'll see it oh, in the okay. servo. Servo, there you go. Thanks. Cool. Okay. Alright. That's the name of my business in real life. Oh, okay. really? Yeah, now we're gonna go to VIP work. What you're gonna do is you're gonna look for one that's called Headhunter, right? Now, the reason this is easy because no. you, you guys don't have to do anything at all except for now we gotta pick you up, really. So swim to the shore. That kicked me out. Don't worry. Why did it kick you guys out? I don't know, me and she just both fell out. Wow, that's bizarre, huh? Give me a second, I'll put you I back in. You, you, you both there. joined my business, though, right? Aww. Yeah, you're both associates, right? Kill, just kill that guy. Brother. Got him? Aw, oh, that hurt. You get him? No, I didn't. Okay, we'll jump in that other chopper. Yeah, all we gotta do is oh, kill these. Oh, broke cheese, come here. There you go. I'm right behind you. Go. But don't, don't kill the police, though. Don't shoot the police. You gotta, like, avoid the police. That was weird that you guys had a chopper. I've never seen it do that when we took it. Okay. So that target's down, right? No, not yet. Don't move. Whoa, you have, like, a helmet on. Alright, so that target's down, alright? So let's go get the next one. Okay. 
Don't worry about the police, just go after the target. Don't worry about the police, just leave those guys alone. Concentrate on the four targets. So I'm gonna go after this one, you pick one of the other ones if you got an attack chopper. If you spawn that chopper up, that's cool. He's right here. Driving down the road by the prison. Yep. Right here. He's going like super, super fast over there. Nope. But make sure you get him and not the um, cop. already moved already. Yeah. He's already down the street. Can I get him? Nah, he's down here. You gotta watch that. You gotta look for the, um, you know, the uh, radical. Yeah. You gotta make sure you get him and not the cop. He's, we got him. Alright, there we go. Final target. Now we should get, since there's 11 minutes left, we should get about 22k. Oh, for doing this one. But again, don't shoot the police by accident. Make sure you get the guy and the police. He's over here at the uh, farm out there. Yeah, I'm doing like that at the farm out there. Oh, it's the guy. Getting him, though. Bitch to get this last guy that's so funny. There you go. 21 5. You guys get 21 5? Oh, I haven't got anything yet. You didn't get any money. No. It says assassinate the final target. Oh. Why, you got one more target? Oh, we have to kill the enemy, that last guy. That last guy, maybe, I don't know. That's weird. No, I, I got mine. Are you guys sure you got hired? You, you sure I hired you, right? As associates? Oh, we got it, we got it. I just got it. Okay. I got 22 grand. There you go. Keith, did you get it too? See, it just took a second, that's all. Okay, cool. All right, so now what we're gonna do is Right? We have a little bit of a cool off section. So, what you want to do is you do the headhunter. Don't get too close to me. I don't want to wreck my chopper. Right. No, what the hell? A plane? Ah, it just kicked me out. How did that happen? Stupid modder. Okay, I'm going to join. You guys got to come and join on me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suspend the game. I don't have you added. Come and join on me. Just come and join on me. I'm going to suspend my game here. The modder, man. Wait, are you gonna leave? Yeah, you're gonna come and join me. I don't you gotta... have you added, I don't think. Well, send me a friend request real quick. Alright. <laughs> Alright. And then you can come and join okay, me. Did you so... get that? That way I can... I'll accept your friend request, don't worry. Oh. What is happening? Jeez. And that way you guys can get out of here so you don't get in trouble. Frickin' modders, man. Oh. It should have canceled out of that. Oh, Hold on. It sounds like your video card, she devil.
it sounds like your video card's having issues. If you can do everything in Windows and the minute you start a game up and the game crashes, or what's happening is, is your video card and your CPU are fighting with each other. Like you have a built-in, you don't have, you know, like some, oh, what the hell's going on with this freaking mission? You got a problem with that video card, she devil is what it is. Guaranteed it's a video card issue. No doubt. Come on, go, 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 go. Go. Definitely a video card issue. Oh, I'm restarting right now, Jupiter. Give me a second. Angel, yeah. you do whatever yeah, you little That stupid modder put us in an airplane. I gotta run. So I had to restart. Yeah, you, you have to go completely offline, you guys, and go back to story mode, and then go back and go back online again first. Because whatever he did, you're not going to be able to. Um, Yeah, but the whole problem is they mod your game. They mess with your game, so if you don't restart your game, you're still going to have issues with shit. You know what I mean? You don't want to go into a session with a modder, and when they start modding crap and, you know, put you spawn you in an airplane in a cage or all that weird shit, you want to go back to story mode, because what it does is it takes that whole session and wipes it out. It temporarily just keeps that in a cache on your computer. So when you leave, the only thing it's going to keep, it's going to update your cloud save, but everything else is going to wipe out, which you need to do. Because you that modder has put shit on your computer. Literally. Yeah, but again, the whole thing, yeah. Then what do you do is... You do this. Hey, Century 24-7, man. Thanks. No, come on. Go, 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 man. I'm trying to eat. All right. You wait like 10 seconds. And what that does, see, it kick everybody off of here. See? Now I'm on a public server by myself. Does that make sense? Then I'll accept your friend request over here, so don't worry. Don't worry. So I accepted the broken cheese, so you'll have to send me another one. You'll have to join on broken cheese and then send me another one. Elite Soapy. Just let you know. Yeah, it's, a, it's easier to do it the way I did it, where you actually suspend the game. 
because what it'll do, Jupiter, is over a couple of times of doing that, I'll end up in a private session that I can stay in for the next 10 hours, 12 hours, 15, as long as I want. We'll never have anybody join this session, ever. Ever. You won't be able to unless you, unless you join on me. This is how, we've been doing this for months, man, for a long time. This is the easiest way to do this without getting, without, you know, it's like so easy and you don't get in trouble. Oh, hello. Yep, there you go. See how fast that was? Mm -hmm. Super fast, okay. see? Okay, now you're just gonna have to have Elite Soapy join you. I know it's a pain in the ass to do this a little bit, but this is the way our life is. And then I'm gonna do, um, see, register as a CEO again. Yeah, Elite right. soap, Soapy wasn't fast enough with accepting my request. I have a YouTube channel, but I do not have 9,000 subscribers. Ah, well, you'll get there, right? Rome wasn't built in a day. Yeah. I didn't start out with all those subscribers, so... You know what I mean? Everything takes time. Gotta have patience. Broken cheese. When you're ready, you can, uh... All right, Elite Sophie, ready. you have to uh, make sure you send me a friend request. Oh, yeah, well, you you that. have to do me a favor, Broken Cheese. You can't do anything at all when you play with me because I stream on YouTube. All right, did you get that request that I sent you? Yeah, hold on, because if you do that, I can get in trouble and it can compromise you know, my streaming because we don't allow modding because modding is cheating and we and cheaters never win and winners never cheat. So if you're going to do that, don't say another word about it, that you do it, and please do not do anything at all when, when, when you're with me, because then I'll have to, like, unfriend you and all that stuff, so I don't want to do that, so please, just, we'll just, you didn't send me a friend request yet, bro. All right. But thanks for being honest and letting me know, I had a feeling you were, but yeah, we can't, can't do that, man, we got to do, do everything the old-fashioned way, man. It's just the way it is, so. You guys, yeah, you Did can you get do. that friend request? Yeah, you can do whatever you want when you. Hold on, I'm gonna check right now. Oh, I know, I know what you. I, and I appreciate that too. You want me to call you the broken cheese? You want me to call you frickin' Jupiter, man? What the frick? <laughs> guys, guys, what are you broke? You're driving me crazy already. It's your, it's your preference. Did you get that there. friend request? Hold up. You know what? Don't get your balls in an uproar there, soldier. <laughs> Calm your little friggin' hiney down, man. I gotta open up my thingy again. No, are you sending it to the social club? No, I went to my phone and put No, to no, no, man. Just open up and click, hit, on, hit escape. Go to online. Right? Go to players, right? Highlight my I name. Yeah, yeah, go to pull online, go to players, highlight me and say send friend request that way. And it'll also it'll pop up on my screen if you sent me a request. Does that make sense? I highlight it. Yeah, highlight like click on my name and then you'll see on the right hand side you'll see an op uh, option to um See that? I'm so confused right now. Okay, press the escape key on your keyboard, right? But it's gonna cut me out of the chat. No, I'm it's on the not. Social club, though. No, it won't. No, no. Just make sure you're in the game. Okay. Yeah, just you can back out of the social club. You can send me one to the social club if you want, but it's easier doing it this. It's the fastest way. Just. All right, I pushed escape. Okay, see how it says map, online, friends, info? Yeah. Okay, click on online. Correct? Alright. See where it says players? Players. Double click that. And that right. shows you the players in this session. You see that?
Huh? Ten friend request. Yeah, there you go. See? Oh my god, man. See? Touch you something new, man. Yeah, that's good. That's when good. you green, you grow. When you ripe, you rot. There you go. El perfecto. All right, so come on over here to the club, both of you guys, and we'll do some more shitzels. Yeah, hello. The broken oh, cheese. What? Oh, I, I love you too, broken fine. cheese. Oh, you know what happened, bro? This is what happened, broken cheese. I'm streaming here, right? And I started another session, and when I did, Soapy was in it. And then he said something, but he wasn't talking to me. He just sort of mumbling to himself. And then I told everybody on the stream, I said, oh, man, I got to help this person because it sounds like they're sort of new to the game. So that's how I started chit-chatting with him. So we've only known each other about an hour. And then you joined. <laughs> and so here we are, man. The rest is history. Thomas Lee, but... Everybody on my stream, we're all family. You know what I mean? Like, we'll have random people will show up, but the majority of people here have been here for a year or more that come to my stream. And this is just, like, you know how you turn the TV on in the background or the radio on when you're doing bullshit, right? And you're playing games or whatever, doing workout. Mm -hmm. This is what people do with me. I mean, they throw me on because they know I'm here. Okay, now, you guys know how to, let me go down the list real quick. Okay, obviously broken cheese, you can mod stuff, so, but do you know how to get all the stuff legitimately? Do you know how to spawn the Sand King and the Rat Rods and all the cool cars? You look cool with your purple hair, too, by the way. Purple, purple and blue look good. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys. Oh, look at you, Mr. Frickin' Quick Draw, with your little Red Dead Redemption T revolver. Let's not talk about how I got that. Yeah, you had to go around and kill a bunch of people. Well, you're supposed to do that, but uh, you may not have got that. All right, so what you're going to do yeah, is, these Sand Kings, right, they're real easy to spawn these things up. All right? No, don't. Uh -huh. Hey, 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 hey. This is okay. my night glove. This one right This here. is, first off, you just scared all my guests away. Don't pull guns in my parking lot of my night club, okay? When you, yeah. Because you know why? Because we we want we want everybody to be happy here at the nightclub. We don't want them to be all tripping, right? Okay, so let's go in the club first. I need a drink now. God damn it! <laughs> I need a drink and a smoke real quick. <laughs> all right, you guys, come on in. You should be able to come in for free. Hey there, boss. So come in the club. Wait, I'll tell you how to do it. Then we'll, go, we'll do the whole vehicle spawny chingadera thingy. Uh, yeah. Where are you guys at? Come on in. Where are you? You should be Welcome over here with me. You? There you go. There's one. Where's two? Hey there. Owner's orders. Free Wait door tonight. Cheesy. Oh, there she is. All right. So here you go. So here's my my club. I love my club because I love dancing and stuff. So this is like so freaking cool, man. Yeah. Now when you upgrade your club with the 1.4 million, you get all the TV screens and all that crap. Yeah. They, so if you want a drink, I don't know if I can serve you for free. I think I might be able to serve you for free. So don't buy one. I'll give you drinks for free if you guys need drinks. One of my friends spent 150 grand on a bottle at a casino and dumped it all out everywhere. Oh my god. That's Kid stupid. Online. Yeah, I can't I can't go ahead and get a drink because we'll make the money back. But he had mods. But don't get the real expensive, just get like a fifty dollar shot so you get a little buzz going on. We don't want you to end up in the bathroom passed out. That would be silly. So clubs are good because it's good passive income. Every day if you keep your promo your clubs, right? And keep everything up. Y'all probably will not like my character. It's super bad in this round. You can make like a hundred grand a day on your club. Just passive. Passive income. And I know you're digging my club colors because obviously purple is one of your favorite colors. You got purple on. So. Yeah. I have this. Uh, 
both of you have purples. So I know you're liking the club colors, man. Yeah. All right, come on over this way. You guys notice my wallpaper? Yeah, she's purple. Oh, yeah. oh, so don't get drunk now. Stop drinking. Later, man. It's not giving me an option to get a drink. Well, there's one, the only one person at the bar at the time. There you go. Now look at you. Oh my God. Yep, see? Out of stock. You're out of stock. She's going to go out on the dance floor and get danced. There you go. Go ahead. Oh do your thing. God. Y'all are <laughs> nice. ugly character. Hell yeah. Cool. All right. You're rocking it. is good because it's a front for all your illegal operations right so when you have the motorcycle business okay and you have the the cocaine methamphetamine weed forgery or cash it ties directly here and that allows your correct focus right? and what that does that allows your club to manufacture all these goods for you right that's how you start getting all this shit here stacked up what you want to do is get more than one. Yeah, that's one of my workers. He's just chilling right now because he's an extra guy. I hired people. I only have four. What you want to do is... How much you got in your bank right now for this place? Well, I only spent whatever the upgrades are. It's like, it takes like two and a half million. Right, plus... But what you get Whoa. is... You get these vehicles to do our deliveries with. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have the, this one right here, but it does not look like that. Okay, well, what you... <laughs> look at the broken cheese. It's like, what the... Okay, so what you're going to do is, when you come in here, you get in, it's going to let you go into the workshop to upgrade this vehicle. That's how you do that, Elite Sophie, right? Once you get inside, that's how you upgrade Oh, yeah, them. I've upgraded the engine a little bit. Right, okay. The reason you want to spend a half a million on each one is when you start delivering for your business, nobody can stop you. You got full armor, full everything. You can just cruise around. You know, this so one's got... how much got, is full armor? Yeah, 100% armor. It's like a, you're going to spend half a million dollars to do everything with the vehicles. About a half a million. But it's worth it. You know, because again, you can do oh, these yeah. runs by yourself and nobody can stop you. And when you promo your club... You have to do things. Oh, I didn't see the hearts on your cheeks. Those are cute. When you promo your club, you can use that to destroy the vehicles. We have to go around and destroy the five supply trucks. Yeah. Now this one you can use for a bigger one. Like the other day I had a big one with three different deliveries and I finally used that truck. But most of the time, you're only going to use that small one. Then you want to upgrade the club. That's 1.4 million or whatever it is. Then you upgrade your security. That's 700,000. And what you get is you get all these security dudes on every floor. 
Plus, you get these barricades so nobody can come in or come out and steal your shit. Because I got raided by the police almost. So you want to spend the 700000 for them. Then you want to buy all four floors. Right? So come on with me and I'll show you why. This is the other crap. And then we'll go out and do some, spawn some Easter egg stuff for you guys. You guys have Dubster 2s yet? The Dubster 2? I do not know what that is. It's the special Mercedes. Oh, okay, good. We're going to get you that. Okay, let's go to level two. Let's go to level two. We'll get you a dubster. Dubster is, you know what a Mercedes, the M3, Mercedes is? The SUV, the boxy one? There's a special uh -huh. one that you can only spawn, right? It doesn't, you can't buy it, and it comes chrome or gold. And once you get one, you can just spawn them up and spawn them up and spawn them up. So this is what I've been telling a lot of people on the stream is, you know, we show people how to do this other than, you know, doing the bunker and doing the supply runs and doing the headhunter and I'm going to show you how to do a sightseer. Sightseer is the same thing. Get 25 grand for going around Here, and finding three uh, briefcases. Use the restroom real quick. Wait one second. Oh, yeah, take your time. We're, I'm not, we're not in any hurry. Never in any hurry, man. I stream all day, man. I ain't got nothing else to freaking do right now but stream. Okay, so this is what you do when you, you know, when you get money. If you don't want to buy, like, airplanes and boats, I like cars. So, the majority of these cars, though, I've stolen. Except for this one. Th yeah, <laughs> look at the broken. This one's real expensive. This one, I went to Benny's. Yeah, this is a full low rider. This is like $900,000, right? These, you can steal. This is an Easter egg one. This Imponte is an Easter egg. Okay, so we can get that one for you, right? And these are Easter egg ones over here. You know, the gang bangers, all the different gangs. They all drive these completely customized, and there's a yellow one, a green one, and a purple one. So for you, you want to go look for the purple one for one of these because it's all customized. So you go, we want to go to whatever gang has the purple colors here. That's the ones over in South Central. You know, the ones that Franklin belongs to, that purple dude's. That's the L.A. Laker colors, by the way, for L.A. Lakers, yeah. Whoa, you have so much parts in the back. <laughs> if you hear my brother yelling in the background, he's playing Fortnite. So these, these are nothing yet. We're going to... Whoa. That's cool. This one eventually I'll take you out. This has full everything. This has like, you know, hydraulics. You know, we can get in it and do the whole bouncy thing, just like a real low rider. With, but it's expensive. It'll cost you $900,000 to fully customize one. Jeez. But all the other so cars I stole. Are you a fan of like the older cars? Yeah, all the other cars I stole. All those cars I stole over there. Now this is a, this is a Trans Am. In the real world, this would be a Trans Am. And then this is the Easter egg Trans Am that you get. We can go just drive around with it. All you got to do is take a regular Trans Am and Ponte, drive to Los Santos by the airport, you know, the LAX airport. That's Los Santos, LAX. And that Los Santos, one of these will spawn for you. All right? So that's an that's a Easter egg car. So you can get that for free. All right? So let's go to number three. I'll show you the other Easter eggs you can get for free. Then we'll go spawn a couple of them up for you guys. How long have you been playing this game? Since it came out, 2013. You know, a lot. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go to level 3. Well, again, you know, it's it's fun going around and killing people in player versus player, but that's this game's a lot more than that. You know what I mean? This is for building a criminal enterprise and feeling like you're a good criminal, right? Like you got all your businesses and, you know what I mean? Killing people, you can do that in Call of Duty, Fortnite, you know, Pug. There's a lot of games you can do player versus player. But it's not a lot of games you can get all this cool shit, right? Mm -hmm. Now, these are all Easter eggs, too. All these 440 cutlasses here, these three with the blowers. You can get all these for free? Yep. This is the Thelma and Louise. You guys see the movie right Thelma and Louise? Yeah. Oh, that's my Cheetah Mobile. You guys see Thelma and Louise, right? So this one had Thelma and Louise in it, and you have to shoot them both before they drive off the cliff. The police come up behind them, and they're drinking tequila, and they kiss each other, and they drive off the cliff. 
So you got to cap them with your sniper rifle, and then you come and get the Thelma and Louise car. See? For free. Easter egg car. This is an Easter egg gauntlet. Look at this gauntlet. It has a Noxix tank. You know, this is a gauntlet. What you do is you just drive around a regular gauntlet, and then this gauntlet will spawn for you. Same thing at Los Santos. Same with all three of these. All three of these 440. And they all have nitrous oxide tanks. If you look inside, they have the Nox tanks and all this. You can't buy this. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So all three of these are Easter egg cars you guys can get for free. Right? So how do we get those? Well, I'm going to take you over and show you. That's, you know, the oh, Los cool. Santos. Now, this is my Cheeto Mobile, right? Cheeto Mobile. This is my. Yeah, that looks you, like a Rolls or Royce. Yeah, you can get these in a Criminal Enterprise starter pack. But this is when I do my pimp. Oh, yeah, thing. yeah. I have yeah. this one. When I go my Russian pimp, because I am a Russian pimp sometimes. Here you go. So when I go all pimp daddy on you, see? That's right, man. My name is the Fury, man. Do you want to become my bitch? You look good. You got nice tits. You got a nice ass. I can put you on the corner right now. Oh, yeah, I can make money off of you. Yeah, you could be my number one hoe. Just Pimp Daddy Fury. <laughs> oh, well, you know why? Because I was showing people how to... Oh, hell yeah. There you go. Mmm. I'm digging it now. Yo. Yeah, you got the moves. You got the moves. Well, we were showing people, you can get this outfit, right? For like 90... <laughs> broken cheese. For like 90000 And I was showing people how you could buy the pieces individually for about 60000 so you can save like $30,000 and actually put the whole pimp outfit together. So, But I love it with my Cheeto mobile, man. It worked good. Poke. <laughs> I'm going to poke you. Poke. poke me. I will poke you. <laughs> Pokey. Yeah. So anyways, I'm going to change back my other outfit. I just showed you that's my pimp guy. Pimp daddy. But most of the time, I'm a, I'm a, I love my um, motorcycle guy. All right. So enough of my flexing with all my cars oh. let's go get you guys some cars does it does no good um let's where are we gonna do oh let's go out let's go outside we're gonna go out this door she got you got, you got me running around in circles because i have to go i'm gonna call up my um gonna call up the dubster and we'll go get some dubsters i'll show you some how to get a dubster and I All hope right. everybody on the stream is enjoying themselves and stating the fact that. Mm -hmm. Now. I know this may be a pain in the butt for you guys to do, but I'm going to go ahead and suspend and restart again because we've got a whole shitload of people on the server. You know what I, mean? I mean, I don't think anybody will mess with us. No. Okay. So can see. Don't tell me what you're gonna do. Fine, don't, don't, don't tell me. Let me call my dad's group. I can barely hear because there's a rain. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You, you do what you do. Yeah. You do what you do what you gotta do, and I'll do what I gotta do. We'll do it together. How's that? I know what you're doing. It's, it's cool. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate what you're doing. You calling for some wheels? I'm since Johnny you, on the spot. Since I'll you hook know you up. what you're doing, I appreciate it. Yeah, you just have to get everybody. You have to get rid of everybody. What do you mean, done, she's? I'll bring it to you. She's she's kicking everybody off the server one by one by one until we so we're on the server. Oh Good. yeah. Thanks. Oh, can you take away rain? No, don't. Make no, 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 don't. I told you she didn't mod. She's not allowed to mod, dude. I'm gonna get myself in trouble, man. All right, so this is what a dumpster looks like. Come over here. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, the broken cheese. This is a dumpster. This is what you're going to get you guys for free. See, and the reason you can't get one of these, see how the tire is offset on the back? The tire is not dead center, right? It's off to the left. That's a dumpster, too. So the only way you can get this is what you do is you start a motorcycle club. Okay. You hire somebody as an associate. You make them a road captain. When you make them a road captain, oh my god. 
when you make them a road captain, um, they can spawn a dubster too. It'll be a plain black one though. Okay. Then what you do is you we drive around to the Los Santos and it'll spawn up this gold one or a chrome one for you. Go over there. Oh shit! Okay, you oh, no. Yeah, no, no shooting. No, so we don't, 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 don't. No, I was just yeah. aiming at her to shoot. Get out of here. Cause you know why? <laughs> she stopped. I love my people of Los Santos. <laughs> okay, so there's two places we can go. Right? We can go to Los Santos over here by LAX. You're gonna hear me refer to the real name. This is this is Venice Beach. Okay, in real life, this is really here. This is really Venice Beach. Right? I mean it's like real the real real Venice Beach. Okay. This little market right here on our left. This market's right here. That's the Venice Beach market. Right? That's really there. I lived here for 16 years. Um, that tattoo shop, I got a tattoo at that tattoo shop. That tattoo shop is really there. I've got that, I got a tattoo on my shoulder from that tattoo Wait, is shop. it actually called the pit? No. No. You can't. Oh. Alright. The broken keys. That wouldn't be the velvet unicorn, would it? Mm -hmm. I'm just joking. <laughs> Wait, you showed me it yesterday, didn't you? Cool. Uh, okay, sounds like a deal. We'll go check that out. Okay, this is Washington Boulevard in real life. This is Maria Del Rey, right? This is and this turns into Admiral T. Way is the name of this street that we're on. I was gonna live in the big building we just passed up, the one on the right. I was gonna buy a condominium there at one time. So, okay. This street right here in real life is Lincoln Boulevard. I will. Let's go see if we can spawn you a dumpster. Okay. So this is Lincoln Boulevard, right? And that other street on our left coming in would be Sepulveda Boulevard, right? And they come together right at LAX, Los Angeles International Airport. So what you're going to do is Los Santos, this might spawn at this one. It spawns better in the one in and um, Beverly Hills by the Beverly Center. Oh, I'm glad you guys have a good time. Man. Good. So, hey. oh, I'm still here. I'm still here. What's wrong, Sophie? Everything okay? Oh yeah. You I sure? was. I just typed in chat. And, okay. Uh, no problem. Geez, she thought I wasn't talking to her. No, no, no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look what look what one of you guys got. Cheesy gets it first because she's hot and sexy. But she gets the first one. There you go, Cheesy. She's like, fucking Surge! I love you. We love you long time. Now you gotta pull inside. And all you gotta do is get the protection on it. Oh, you got the gold so one keep that too. Car forever? Yeah, just get the protection and then send it back to your garage, and we'll go do this again. Yeah, you don't have to. You just have to get full protection, which is like seventy-five hundred bucks or whatever it is. Now you can spawn these all the time, okay? And you can sell them for twenty-eight thousand dollars. So what I do is I keep a couple sitting in my warehouse. Because there's a where you can buy a warehouse right around the corner from where we're at. Look at her, she's at seven oh, heaven now. That's cool. Elite Elite Sophie's like, I want mine, I want mine, I want mine. Did you break my window out, dude? On my car? I'm going to make you drop and give me frickin' 20, soldier. Okay, so now what you can do is, you, you can drive that around if you want, you can come with us. You can send that back to your, she already put a, look at that, she already put a cool horn on it too. 
Uh, you can either send that to your garage and you can jump back with us and we'll go around again and spawn one up for a leap. Wait, can you send that to your garage through yes, it's the hers. It's customs yours. place? It's yours. It's hers now. Yeah, all she has to do is, is open up her interaction menu and she can send it to her garage. She can jump back in, we'll drive around and get you one. <laughs> Those horns are cool. Or she can try to spawn one for you. It doesn't matter because I just want to spawn you up one. Once you have one, then they'll keep spawning, so it doesn't matter. But I've never tried it with two people, but you got to go back up to the beginning where we were, where we started over here, and then drive just about the same speed, and then you'll see it spawn over there. Then we can switch cars and we'll spawn you up a different car. But you gotta come all the way back over here and then sort of drive about the same speed to get the game time to spawn it in. Oh, is it like a bug? Or is it like no, actually- No, it's an Easter egg. Easter eggs. These are Easter egg yeah. cars. These aren't bugs. These are, there's 26 Easter egg cars. And the only way you can get them, oh, broken cheese there, welcome back. The only way you can get them is by doing what we're doing. There's certain ways to get them, and that's it, man. That's, you know what I mean? They, they give you these cars for free, bro. You don't pay a dime for these, but there's only, you have to follow the rhythm, you know, the spawn crap. But it's not, a, it's not illegal, it's not a bug. Okay, that didn't spawn at this time. I have to go around the block again. You'll be able to tell when it spawns because it just spawns regular cars. Let's go around the block one more time. But it's, you see how easy it is to do. Now, some people set their game. You can do a mission um, called Chopper Tail, and that sets the clock. Mm -hmm. Oh, the broken keys, good. Well, you know what's cool? It's because you can show your friends now, right? And it's nothing illegal. It's not like Rockstar's gonna get mad at you guys, like, oh, you're doing something wrong. They're Easter eggs that they put in for people that, once you figure out how to do it, it's a reward. So, but it's cool because you can't buy this car. Yeah, exactly, see? That's why I said, so this is not the same. You can get a regular dumpster. Right? And you can put all the stuff on it, but the tire will be dead center. The tire will be covering up the license plate. So yeah, the only Wait, what's way you... the apartment glitch? Yeah, it's, it's... There's so many things that people want to do in here, and I just tell people, look, in the long run, it's not worth it because they're going to reset your account, you're going to lose everything, so why even do it? It's better to do these I don't even glitches have... that are free. Free glitches are better, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do this. Hold on. Go ahead and get out, Elite Sophie. See if you can get in this car and drive it inside. See if you can get into this one and drive it inside. Because I got three of these. To see if it'll let you drive it into Los Santos Customs. Because a couple of these I didn't even own yet. Yeah, it belongs to another player. Alright, hold on, okay, we'll keep driving around, no problem. Because I have a couple of them. Like, I think the other one I didn't, the other one I didn't, um... Will you stop? Dude, why are you doing that? It's going to cost me money to fix it. Quit banging on my freaking car, man. You know, I got to spend money every time you do that. I heard my, you broke my window. I, I'm going to charge you for that. That's it, man. When we go out for dinner tonight, that's it. You're not getting no dessert. Don't even ask. Um, yeah, your window isn't broken. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, oh, it's fixed now. Thank you. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, it's, it's narcotics, huh? Ah, oh, fuck em, boys. Seems he smelled your narcotics after all. Ah, oh, wait a second. Daddy's on a call. It might be, Stop yelling. but this at all. Oh, uh, yeah. 
without it, I can't go for life. No, no, don't pop the window again. See, Elite Soapy, you're being you're being bad. That's why we can't spawn one up for you now. Sorry. Broke, broke my frickin' window, man. The game's like, let's see if it spawns. Come on, come on, give him one, give him one, come on. Damn it. We might have to go try the other, the other one in over in Beverly, Beverly Center. Usually it spawns. See, if it doesn't spawn, what? Well, it doesn't spawn anything. Just, like I said, you just have to try it a couple times until it spawns. Right. In the meantime, I'll show you the other one. The other ones we're gonna do. Oh yeah, it disappeared. Uh, it disappeared. Oh, you got one because uh, somebody didn't. You were able to jump on somebody's and keep it. No, something. Some. All right. Someone don't tell that me. I can't name spawned don't, one in. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. And I put it in my garage, but it disappeared today. Don't tell me. I want to. I don't want to know. All right, let's see if you guys can go and go in my garage over here, and I'll show you what's going on. Let's see if it'll let you come inside yes, of here. Hey, I've, ne I've never seen if anybody can come into my garage or not, so we'll see. And get your sheets off the bed and give them to Mama so she can wash them. Walk to the door to answer the buzzer. Where the fuck is the buzzer at? I've never had to do this before. Walk to the door. Oh, here we go. Duh. Yep. There we go. Alright. Broken cheese is like, what? Okay, so these, you know how to get these broken cheese? We're going to show you these next. You know how to get these? These are worth 20 grand each. These spawn up like at, by the nightclub, by where we're going to go next. Okay, this is the other Easter egg one that you can get. This Dominator, this is the Easter egg. This spawns right there at that same Los Santos. This is, a, this is an Easter egg Dominator. But these, you just get to sell. Well, I'm showing you. You see how we did it? We just drive up and down the street. and they and they'll, But these, I'm going to take you over to the other nightclub and show you how to get these. These, always, these oh, are I get the easy to get. One? And of course, here's another dubster because I usually, you know, keep two or three of these, and then as I need to sell them, I sell them. Now, the other trick is, have you ever seen how sometimes you'll get two stars when you steal a car, right? But Simon, Simon, he doesn't want it. You can take that car and make any color paint you want on it and keep it. It'll let you chrome it, whatever you want, but you can never sell it. You can never, so I did this experimentally, but you're sort of stuck with it and let you let the police take it or you blow it up. It's going to be yours forever, so don't only do it. But that's a good way of getting like an 811 or some really freaking high-end car. You just have to get two stars right off the get-go. And if you get two stars, you can keep it. But you can never upgrade it and you can never sell it. So those are all sellers. The yellow ones you get 14 k for. The blue ones here, you can get 18 to 20k, and you can spawn those up as fast as we can spawn them, literally. And I'll show you how to do that. But this warehouse, oh my god, dude, did you do something wrong out here? Uh, Elite. I was. Yeah, don't, don't start shooting the police and get us all in a tizzy here. Remember, you guys are in my, um, CEO right now, so yeah, don't, yeah, don't, don't get I don't crazy. know why that guy's dead right They're getting bored, I can see this already. And this is a way of picking up shotguns too. You can get the punk shotgun this way. You can't keep it, but you can keep it for the session. Alright, so let's go before you guys jack up my car. Alright, so this warehouse you want to buy. This one costs you like 120000 The reason you want it is because Los Santos is right around the corner, correct? So you get stolen cars mm -hmm. and just keep them here and as you want to sell right so for 120 grand you got a 10 car warehouse let's see if we can spawn like you up real quick car, Sophie. Though. we'll see if we can spawn you up uh, one of these what she dicks around with the police car remember i said don't do that stuff in my game 
you're 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 gonna get me in trouble, man, with YouTube. And I don't want to have to stop streaming. This is why I'm driving. So please. Wait, what'd she do? Oh, I. But you can't do anything at all. You can't do that while I'm streaming. You're gonna get me in trouble because it condones doing that stuff, and we're not allowed to do that. Rockstar, I'm gonna get in trouble, and I'm, so you cannot do anything with me. I cannot emphasize this enough, please, man. You're really nice. I want to keep you as a friend. I want to have fun with you, and I want you to be able to stay on the stream and not just, you know. But yeah, I can't let you jeopardize my account. I don't want to get in trouble. So, but you can do what you're doing as far as kicking people out. out. You know, that's fine. You can keep doing that. It's easy. That's fine. Yeah. But yeah, just, yeah, just. When we're not streaming, it's different. When I'm streaming, we can't do this. Because it's a live stream. It's like live TV, right? It's like it's live, right? When you're, you know, so I'm responsible for all my actions. I mean, I, I like the fact that you can do all that. We just can't do it. Well, there'll be a time and place for all this. Okay, but if you just met me, right? Okay, we want to develop a nice relationship. So, okay, anytime. LC Devil, she's like my sis, man. I've known her since April 2018. She's one of my oldest followers. If we can't spawn this one up, don't worry, bro. We'll um we'll get you one. You know what I mean? You can you you can get one with cheesy too, cause she has one now, right? This way we can go on to get the other cars that I want to get. Okay? That way we're not continually just dicking around doing the same car over and over and over again. So if we don't worry, we'll we'll get we're gonna send this one back to my garage. Now the other trick is when you send them to storage, then you don't have to pay for them. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to show you how to get the other other vehicle. Okay. Now, can you carefully drive us over to you know where the other Los Santos is? Cheesy by the Beverly Center. Oh no! First, take me to your favorite spot. Oh, because I, I I promised you I was going to let you take me there. So take me to your favorite spot. Okay, we'll do that first. I can't cut the stream. We'll do it another time. And you can't make me. You, I'm going to take it. It doesn't work that way with YouTube. We, we can't do. Don't do not do it yet. We'll do it another time. You can't. We you going to have me tell a dozen people. Oh, sorry. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You're never going to get no YouTube followers. You start pulling that crap with your subscribers and shit, man. Yeah. So don't do that. <laughs> we'll do it another time. We got time. You know what I mean? We, we got time. Don't worry. I keep getting a RP version with players. Dang, Bramage. We're not trying to be uncool, man. We're just trying to do stuff and we don't know, you know, who people are. We didn't want people to, like, accidentally go around and kill us. Because the last time we drove around with three people in a car, Somebody decided to blow up all three of us at once because they're like, oh, that's cool. I can kill a CEO and two associates. Uh, well, I didn't do anything at all. Okay. Did you see me do anything at all? Well... I, and like I said, before I had a chance to do anything, yeah, so do me a favor, Cheesy. What you can do is you can actually go into their name and click and highlight their name and say kick. Do it that way. Don't do it how you're doing it because you're causing problems because this gentleman's in my stream now and he's upset because he got a blue screen on his computer. You know what I mean? So whatever you're doing, stop doing it. Don't do it like that. See, like I said, see, you, you don't really understand what you're doing. 
and you're going to end up getting yourself in trouble is what's going to happen. You're going to try to log into Rockstar and your account's going to be hosed. And you're going to say, oh, what happened? Because somebody's going to report you. Yeah. Oh, that's what you're doing? Okay. So that's all you're doing. You're just doing what I'm going to show them right now. They go online. They go to players. Right? They highlight somebody. Right? And then say kick. That's all you're doing? Dude, if that's all she's doing and you got a blue screen, man, that's not our problem, bro. We have a right to do that. You know what I mean? That's why it says kick there, man. Nobody modded. This is what she did. Yeah, this parking lot. Yeah, I'll show you exactly one more time, bro, what she did. This is what you do. She went here to online. She went to players. She went to your name, right? And she said kick. Same thing I do. Right? That's all she did. That's not a mod. This is this is Rockstar's menu, bro. That's not a mod. No mod. It can be yeah, confirmed 100%. Yeah, but that uh, just because your game crashed, that doesn't. That's not our fault. My game crashed. That's your computer's fault. Yeah, I've been kicked from sessions before without anybody doing anything, bro. Not only in GTA, yeah, but other games. But it. if you come in here and you highlight kick and you kick somebody and your computer, that's not our fault. I apologize, but that's not our fault. We're not like, nobody did anything to you intentionally. But it's not modding. That's not modding, bro. That's far from modding. It's not, not even close. Is modding is when you intentionally no, not, manipulate the software in a game. Going in and clicking kick is, that's not modding. Okay, so again, I apologize if your computer went wacky. Keep trying to justify yourself. How am I Wait, trying to justify it? Emotes? I'm telling you exactly what they did. Come and join again. Right, come and join on me again, and I'll do that, and we'll see if it crashes your thing again. We'll see whether or not it's the game doing it. Because like I said, that's... Nobody's doing anything nefarious to you, man. You know what I mean? And calling me an asshole is not going to fix your computer from having a blue screen. Again, I... I apologize if that's what happened, but... Nobody did anything intentionally. You know what I mean, there was no, oh, I'm going to do this. I, they, I even made a point of making yeah, sure cool. that that's how she did it. That's how I, I even said, how did you kick them? And she said, I went in there and simply highlighted their name and said kick, which we're allowed to do, or else Rockstar wouldn't have it. So there's no justification. It's exactly what happened. You want to look back? What do you need, boss? Some wheels? Yeah, I so can bring them around. Need, I apologize that it happened, but we didn't do it intentionally in that sense. You know what I mean? Nobody's like trying to screw you over, <laughs> you know, or, you know what I mean? That's, nobody's trying to do that. You're paying us like five grand. Yep. I'll get back to it then. Oh. All right, so oh. now let's go get you let's go get you guys some of those sentinels before you destroy the whole place. Oh, this is only, nope, we can't use this, only two-seater, sorry. We need a four-seater, so I guess we'll have to use the police car. Nope, that's, oh. But again, I apologize if that's what happened because we kicked you and your screen went blue. All right, that's all I can do. Nope, it's Perfect nothing time. that we did on our side. I at the same time. You know what I mean? So, okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to come up here, right? You're going to leave Los Santos. Okay, you're going to come up this street over here. I, I, you know what, it, it really, it's really moot. It doesn't matter because kicking somebody from the game is not going to cause their thing. Now, what you want to wait is, see this right over here. There it goes. See how that palm tree just lit up with the heart? Exactly, the broken cheese. We both know that. Okay, so see that heart over there with the palm tree that just lit up? You got to make sure that's lit up, okay? If it's lit up and you drive up here, okay, now there's no one, not, we're going to go around the block. 
is they're going to spawn right at that signal. You're going to get a blue one, or you're going to get a yellow one. If you get a yellow one, you can just drive the yellow one around the block until you get a blue one, until the blue one shows up. The blue one's worth 20 grand. So we'll try to spawn up one of each, and then you guys just carefully drive it to Los Santos and sell it if you want, because they spawn here all the time. I just keep a couple sitting there for shits and giggles in case I need some extra goofing off money. So are they supposed to spawn at that customs place? Or we nope, they're going to spawn right at that signal right there, right at that stoplight. That's why I keep going on the block here. Just sort of pause right here for a second by the street lamp, get a second, try to let the game spawn one up for you. Okay, and then carefully just drive up here. Oh no, she's left. Oh, what happened? Game crash, probably. Tell me shit. Alright, yeah, we'll go around the block again. He just takes a couple times. This will happen between 8 o'clock at night and 4 o'clock in the morning. Like I said, you got plenty of time to. I've spawned like five or six of these in a row, you know, and everybody who ever sold one, and I, that's why I ended up with those couple in my warehouse down there. But you can't do it until that palm tree in the heart's there. Nope, nope. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> she jumped out because she couldn't Wait. jump out before. She'll be back. Wait, was that Cheese's AI? Yeah. That's what happens when they leave the game. Their AI will stay there, and then their AI disappears. What's funny is, is she better hope she didn't have no money on her, because I killed one of my friends one day and took $13 from her. And then the next day, she spawned in. She came in the game. She's all upset, because she's like, I'm missing money. I have money. I'm like, it was only $13. Holy cow. So yeah, so if they have like a lot of cash on them, and they leave the game, and you kill them, that cash gets dropped. Here. So you might have to do this. There you go. Jump out and get that yellow one. There's a yellow one for you right there. Third car okay, back. So it's the third car open. back. Yep, no problem. Right. Yep, third car back. Then just drive that carefully the two blocks over to Los Santos and sell it. You should get 14970 Oh, this just, yellow one? Yep, just don't bang it up, man. Just drive it right down to Los Santos. Yep, yeah, and I'll try to spawn up a blue one. So you turn it carefully, nice and careful. Don't bang it up, man. You see? Not so clever, Drive down, it's two blocks down. No, you gotta go down and sell it. Just go sell it. They spawn all the time. They spawn I'm every two minutes, map. three minutes. Yeah. yeah, so go, it's two blocks down, and then you're gonna go to the left. You know, it's got, you know where Los Santos is, a couple blocks from us. That's what makes it so nice, and then I'll come and pick you up, and we'll do another one. I'll just keep it the way it is. It's, I mean, you can cover Are they that. always yellow? Uh, no, the blue one's worth more. The blue one, electric blue one's worth 20 grand. That yellow one's worth 15. That's why I said, just go sell that, and I'll try to spawn up a blue one, and then I'll switch over, and you can... Then the blue one, you're going to go in there, and the only thing you're going to need to do to the blue one is get the minimum insurance for 2000 and then you can send that back to your warehouse. And then when you want, you can just... Wait, I'm going to do the glitch to get... Yeah, the Sentinel one, that's what we're doing right now. Sold it. There you go, man. Good going. You just said you paid um, Sergeant Nick Fury a 13,000 cut. Bro, I didn't know it was three. Sergeant. Yep, what was that? I just paid you 13 grand from that cell. Oh, okay. I don't know how. I didn't see it come up, but that's cool. I think it's because I'm in that. You're, you're like. Oh, because I hired you. Hold on. I'm going to stop my CEO shit. This way you get the full cost of the money. Okay, 
Well, you can, it's either just until we get these cars. Oh, here's one. Hey, it's Paige Harris. I, I work with Lester Crest. Yeah, here's a blue one now. They basically run things over yeah, there while he takes credit. Anyway, I've got a new sideline you might be interested in. High-end scores taken right, elegantly to elegant using one. the latest tech. So you There's a terabyte yeah. truck on Warstock I can turn into our nerve center. Get one, we'll store it under your club, and get moving on this immediately. Or yeah, lost. Come back down to Los Santos, and I'll give you this one. You should be able to, because that one you sold for me, you should be able to keep this one out for your side. Oh, here you are. Yep. Yep, come on. Oh, my. Dude, man, don't fuck up my car, man. What the fuck is your problem, man? <sighs> Quit trying to show off, okay? Come on, get in, Sophie. You got a nice car, bro, but let me, don't, I'm trying to help this young man get this shit together, okay? So, almighty, just, yeah, let me, this is really nice. But, dude, why are you being a cunt, man? You know what I mean? Why are you being a fucking cunt? You know what I mean? I'll just suspend the game and we'll do it. You know what I mean? We get these cars all the time, but if you want to be a fucking asshole, I'll just suspend the game and we'll come back and do this again without you dick shit. You know what I mean? We can, we can, um, look, kick him. Exactly. You know what I mean? What a fucking. I swear to God, man. You get more fucking cunt Wait, motherfuckers so we, in this fucking um, game, man. Players. Who is it? Hey, the Almighty. Yeah. Hit. Exactly. Yo. Yo, no, there's no yo. I'm not your fucking yo. <laughs> fucking dick, man. All right, see if you can keep that one. Elite Soapy. Right. See if you can keep this one. Yo. Oh yeah, he got kicks. He left. I kicked him. Now, all, if you can sell it, go ahead and sell that because the money will be yours. Because we'll just go get another one for you. It's not a problem. We can get a shit. Yeah, I just up. repaired it for two twenty, and now I should get full sell. Yep. So. It says, sorry, we don't need any vehicles yeah, at this time. Yeah, right now. So what you're going to do is go to, see where it says, uh, um, um, insure. Don't do the full insurance because that's too much. Okay. Just do the 2000 That way you can go send it to your garage and it'll sit in your garage. Okay. Does that make sense? Or I could just take it to a, another one. Well, or you can take it to another one. Which is yeah, one down by the beach if you want. Yep. If you want to take the one by the beach, you can just be careful that you don't damage it. See, right now you could probably see normally what it, you might be able to get out and say send my send. This is not your personal vehicle until you insure it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So don't. So if you're gonna drive it to that to Los Santos that we were at, right? the one by the airport, then you gotta drive it carefully down there. See, what I do is I go ahead and get the 2,000. Hey, Hi, welcome cheese. back to Broken Cheese. I get the 2,000 and then I simply go to the interaction menu and I send it back to my garage. And that way when I get ready to sell it, I'll get 18,000 instead of 20,000. This way I don't have to drive all over the place because you can only sell every 48 minutes in the game. Even if you go to a different one, I don't think it would let you sell it. And this way we can go back and spawn up a couple more if you wanted them. To your choice. The whole thing is right now, if you damage it, you're gonna have to pay to have it fixed again because it's not your car. So if it blows up, you're screwed. If you go put it in your garage right now, then it's gonna be yours. As soon as you put it in your garage, it's yours, period. See, plus you don't want it to be the last car that you drive. Um, Oh uh, yeah, I, I actually stopped that. I'm going to restart it again because I was trying to let you guys sell these cars. And you, the only way you can sell these cars is if you're not in my group, okay? So let's go get one. He's going to decide what he wants to do. You come with me. 
the broken cheese and I'll get you one and we'll let Sophie decide what he's gonna do. He's either gonna keep it, he's gonna sell it, whatever, but right now if you damage it, oh, no. see dude, that's, I, okay, you're not listening to me, bro. It's not your car yet. But hey, if you F that car up, then you're screwed. You're gonna have to go find another one. Oh, I didn't do any damage. I'm just gonna. Wait, so how do I send it to my uh garage? One of my subscribers, AIE. Every time the song plays, he comes on. We always laugh. Tell my kids an ice song. Okay, so this is all you gotta do. Just come up here, drive real slow. Try to get your blue one for the yellow one. Up oh, there's a yellow one. See it? Yellow one's there. Go get the yellow one. Fourth car back. Okay, now that one you can go sell. Go ahead and sell that one. Go sell it for 15K, and then we'll come back and we'll get you a blue one. The blue one's a 20, like he has. Act technically, you could have got in that car that he has, but I'll take you down and you sell this one. Wait, how do I uh, send this to my garage? Um, get out, go to your interactive menu, highlight vehicle, and say send personal vehicle to garage. Okay, I'm gonna drive it a little. <coughs> you, guys, you guys cracked me up. What? How come I don't see your name in here? Easy. Oh, there you are. Oh, you know why? Because you were inside. You were inside of the office. Exactly. Yeah. See if Rockstar ever got around to put an anti cheat software program, they'd lose half the people that follow them. There's AIE. <laughs> AIE, I was just talking about you and our song, bro. No, wait, that's our song. Alright, there's a blue one for you right there. Third car, blue one. Wait, so how do you, how do you say, how do I highlight this car? Cool. Now that one is worth 20 grand. But you can only sell one at a time, so you're going to have to compromise and spend the two grand, right? And then send it to your garage, basically, right? And then next time you can sell it for 18 instead of 20. Oh, you want to keep it? No, keep them. They're really nice. But see how fast they spawn up? And they'll spawn up from 8 p.m. till 4 a.m. As fast as you can drive around the block, those cars will spawn. Literally. You can see they're all day long spawning those things. So, but it's good money in the bank. As I tell people, it's always nice to have a couple of them sitting around. So you jump into the game right from the start and you want to help pay for. Um, the, I know, you can't keep that one. You can buy a limo and make it pink. But you can't keep that one. But you can buy your own limo. It's, they're very cheap. They're like 40 grand for a limo. So you can get one and make it pink yourself. Make you 
gonna keep this one. Why don't you keep one? So, um, Sergeant, how'd you say I, uh, highlight this thing? Oh, you gotta get out of the car, though. Won't let you send it back to your garage. You gotta get out. You go to your interactive menu, right? Go to where it says vehicles, right? And it's gonna say return personal vehicle to storage. See that? Because you are not using a personal vehicle? Yeah, because remember, you, you have to pay for the minimum insurance to make that your personal vehicle. Oh. Or Here, you can actually drive it to your garage and put it in your garage without doing any insurance. Okay. But you got to be careful because if anything were to happen to it, you would lose it, right? In between the time you go to pick it up and drive it to sell it. That's the, that way you get that extra 2000 if you want. Does that make sense? See me, what I do is I just take them directly to my warehouse and I put them right in my warehouse. I, I just carefully drive them there and I don't, I, because there's that Los Santos right by my warehouse. So I can go in there and pay 200 bucks or 300 bucks. Then I go put it in my warehouse. That makes sense. Now, if you want a yellow one, we can get you a yellow one broken, cheese. I'd love to get you a yellow one if you want to have a pair. If not, we'll go for the next vehicle. I'll show you how to spawn the next one up. Are oh, you gonna make it pink? Nice. Oh, you'll like my car then, my racing car. I get a couple of nice race cars. You know, I, I, I won um, two podium, uh, well, six podium yeah, cars. I'm gonna bring this to my garage. Okay, so be careful, it's, though. Okay, so it's five o'clock in the morning, so we probably won't spawn anymore right now. So let me come back over here. Come hang out with you guys and we'll spawn up. Now I'll show you, you know, have you ever seen the Futos? The Futo? F-U-T-O, Futo? They're like everywhere in the game. They're called Futos. Oh, you I don't know where you guys are at. Where you're at. Oh, you're inside again. Yeah, they're called Futos in the car. Those cars are really cool and they have livery. I'm waiting for you to come out. Oh, hell yeah, look at that. Nice. Nice. Cool. That came out really nice looking. Oh, especially with the interior. Open up the doors, man. It's got the freaking red. It's got the red, in, red inside, too, man. That came out nice. Hell yeah. That rocks. That looks good. See now, isn't it more satisfaction when you steal? Oh yeah, see, look at that. Fuck yeah, that. It, it's to me, I'm more satisfied stealing these cars than I am buying them. <laughs> you know, it's more satisfaction. Now the Futos, Futos are real quick. I'm gonna pull mine up for you. The Futos you can get for free. It's F-U-T-O. They're all over, but they have livery. You can do a livery on them, which means, you know, custom skins, right? Custom skin on the car. So let me pull my Futo up for you. I love this little car. I'm These on the clock. So what you want? Some wheels? It's fast. It's so fast, man. So fast. I'll bring it by. I love this. That looks good. That came out really nice. And for free, basically. You know what I mean? How much did you have to... Um, Oh my god, did we get a new player in here? Yep, somebody just... Circa, okay. Maybe you could... Yeah, 10k on paint, that's like nothing. Alright, let me grab this one for you. You're gonna love, you're gonna love this. I told you. I told you. Yep, even my rims. <laughs> Yo, you you 
Okay, so we can get you one of these and you can upgrade this real cheap. You can get this skin and lower the car and, yep. <laughs> nice, huh? Yeah, these cars are... How do I get one? Well, we have to just go back over. You just see the name on the back? Look at the back. If you go to the back, on the right-hand side, F-U-T-O, they're freaking everywhere in the game, right? But, be careful, now be careful. Go ahead and drive it a little bit, and you'll see how fast they are. I picked one up one day. It's it's the Futo, it's not, it's the Karen Futo. But I picked one up one day, and they're so freaking fast. I could believe, I was like, oh my God, this car's like insane, man. I was like, dude. And then when I took it over here, it had a livery option. And then I could put Robot Bubblegum Princess on it in pink. I was like, isn't that cool to drive? It's like, really? And it sticks to the road really nice. It's not like all squirrely and nice little car, man, for cheap. I mean, you can buy one for like 20K, but like I said, they're all over the place. You can just find, we'll just go look around, we'll find them, they're every, it might be in the lot when you go pull back in the lot. It might be in the lot one for you. When you pull back in, because they're always at the at the Los Santos all the time. They're always in the parking lot. And look for one that's, see? Look for one that's customized already. Sometimes they'll have them parked out here and it already has them partly customized for you. But they are super freaking fast cars. I was so impressed, man. There's so many nice cars in this game that are dirt freaking cheap that you don't have to spend a lot of money on. Like dirt cheap. So I, and I love that little car. That little car is so freaking cool, man. All right. Cool, man. You got your shit together. You know what you're doing. So like I said, we'll have to go find you one. They usually spawn everywhere. They'll spawn here. I mean, they spawn like everywhere. Oh, let me back up. Yeah, they spawn like everywhere, man. Everywhere. So, but a really a surprising car. I was quite surprised how nice it handles. I mean, it handles really well. And I can get hot pink rims once I win a couple more races. And I'm going to put hot pink rims on it even nicer, more matching than what I have. Because those rims actually match your car. Cool. Alright, so that's... Now, let me get you another one so I can show you. Let me see what else we want to get you that you might want. Um, let me see. What other cars do you like that you might want? Sometimes you just run around the block and that Mustang will spawn here. Let's run around the block and see. And then we'll get back to making some money because I know you guys are in the game to make money too. We can do these in between because there's several places cars spawn. Like they're all over the freaking place. Oh, you don't need the money? All right, cool. All right, we'll just keep messing around. Okay, me too. So we'll keep doing the cars then. I can always make money. I mean, making money is just selling crap. You know what I mean? To me, it's more fun getting all these cool cars instead of the Easter egg cars. That's, to me, that's what the game's all about. That movie was such an epic fail, I cannot believe it. Yeah, well, the money's not hard to come by. Once you get a nightclub and you get a bunker, I mean, you get your businesses going, they're sort of self-generating. It's just you maintaining it and have to buy and sell. And so to me, again, it's all about, oh, see, nothing spawned here yet. It's all about getting cars to spawn. I mean, it's, you know. Circa, okay, he's like glitching through the floor and coming back up. We're not doing it, man. It's not our, it's not us. 
Let me spawn one of these other ones in here. We'll get you another one. Um, let me see. Okay, you get this one. Here we go. Okay. Okay, we'll get you this one. This one will have to go up the coast, but it'll be worth it. I'm gonna come back to y'all. No problem. Let me get this one. These are the, we'll do the sand king. Cannon, see, look at the exhaust. You see it? You're through to your garage. You, uh, need me to bring you a ride? Yeah, hold on, dude. You see that little hole at the top? I'll bring it to you. Alright, so, the Sand King. You guys know what the Sand Kings are? That was that big-ass giant truck that you were driving when you first showed up. So you can get, you know the Sand Kings, right? There's these, there's two of these you can get that are Easter egg, a yellow one and a blue one. You calling for some wheels? So I'm Johnny the, on the um, spot. I'll okay, hook I'm you up. Can I go check out my business real quick? Oh, which, which one? Uh, I'm going to go to the motors. I'm, I'm going to go to my counterfeit cash to factory then. and then I'm going to go check out my bunker. All right. If you need some help, if not, Jeezy and I are going to go spawn some vehicles up together. Alright, where's it at? So you're going to deliver it. As soon as I can. All right. Oh, here it is. All right. So this is another Easter egg one that you can get for free. Oh. I need. It's huge. Oh man. I'm not even gonna go there with a joke that I could say. I won't even go there. I'm going there. Okay, these come in two varieties. Right? Exact! Oh my god, that's what I was gonna say. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Beat me to it. Alright, these come in two varieties. This one, and you can also get a yellow one with big gas tanks and all that crap. Okay, so we'll go see if we can spawn one of these up for you. And if you want to put the radio on, go ahead. I mean, you don't have to use the radio, so I don't mind. But Elite Soapy, if you end up needing help, let us know and you can hire us you know, before you go to do anything silly. Now this is actually Beverly Hills, right? This is Wilshire Boulevard that we're on. The street that goes left and right in front of, across this right now is Santa Monica Boulevard. That's the Beverly Wilshire Hotel over there to the left. That's the Beverly Hills Golf Course. So these are all real, really here. All this is real. Like real, real. So, there's actually a restaurant right here on the left called Trader Vic's. It's a very famous restaurant, but that's the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. You want to help me get some supplies? Yes, we can. You want to hire us? Yeah. I don't want to 
Like, gotta send us in by gross crap, even. Okay. But all this is really here. This is Sunset Boulevard. It actually turns into Sunset Boulevard. And Sunset Boulevard goes down. If you can actually look all this up on Google Earth, folks, as I'm talking to you, you drive down Sunset Boulevard and it's going to dump you right at Pacific Coast Highway, which is right down here. Okay? Pacific Coast Highway. Directly in front of us. That, that, did you invite us? Yeah. All right. The American healthcare industry so, is all right, in directly in front of us, that restaurant is called Gladstones by the Beach, right? They're famous for a three-layered chocolate cake for dessert that's like one quarter of a chocolate cake. One slice, like a quarter of a chocolate cake. You want me to start it? Um, well, yeah, if you start it, where are we going to go? So, yes, I am. How'd you get I'm going there next. Next comment. Yeah, if you need us to come back and do the mission. Ah, you ready to settle this deal? Alright, so where we gotta go? Alright. We got work. Alright, so if we have work, hold on, we're gonna get rid of this vehicle. Let's get out and we're gonna get our work vehicle. Remember I told you we got a work car that we can call up? I'll show you how to do that. Then we'll go do play later on since we have to help him. Okay. Here we go. Okay, my other van's on the way. You are so funny. Uh -oh. <laughs> Jinx! Oh, my tire just got popped out of nowhere. Oh my god. Alright, let's go help him. I think I'm heading to a nightclub in Los Santos. Yeah. Right? Someone's We're coming. Oh, by the way, my dad's looking a lock. Yeah. Yeah, lock. Is that your dad in the game with us? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, I, I, I raised my my son playing video games. So we're all big. Every now and then I play with my one of my sons. She's on the PlayStation, so I break down and fire up the PlayStation. We do stuff. We we do GTA or do Broke Point or some Division or something. Whatever. Poison. Wait, do y'all see where we're going? Yes, we do. We're headed right there. Coming up on your stick, sir. We have to beat up people on this. No, oh, we got God. that. That one's so funny. Can like you go nine. inside? You gotta go inside. And it won't let you use anything but your fist. My tires are popped. It's gonna be a little hard. And it's like desert out here, so be a while before I get here. Oh, I know where you're at. Oh my god, you're way out there. Holy crap. You could Oh no, you're right here. Oh, right yeah, on the corner. It's be a little while. Yeah, I try to pull out my baseball bat. It won't even let you pull out your baseball bat. Now this is the van we want to try to keep. Is this van? We're gonna try to figure out a way to get in this van eventually. Um, by doing this mission. Yeah, we gotta go inside to keep these guys up. Come here and beat everybody up, bro. I'm like, okay, cool, I can do that. Oh, 
Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, sorry. 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 My bad. One more, huh? Where's that biatch, man? Let's go get that mofo. Where are you at, man? <laughs> you gonna kick somebody's ass. Nobody down here to kick. Wait, do we have all supplies? Cool. Let's sure get them. Hit that shit. How do we get the supplies? Oh, we have them. Oh. Because your name is below me. Where's mine at? Where's my supplies? They're in your inventory. You no way, Jose. Them. All right. No, get out. Don't what? Don't There's a modder anywhere. in the game. We can't drive cars. We'll kick him out. <sighs> Don't kick a lock, though. It's not modding. To get this thing repaired, good grief. Guess we're gonna go on foot then. I'm gonna start running. We just need to get Apex and Jacks, and we're good. Unless, there's no way they're Mars. That ain't gonna work. I can't bring it right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, don't kill me, Daddy. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have freaking supplies. Kill him. Fucking idiot, motherfucker. Alright, let's get out of here. Running? Easy. Let's get a car, man. Get out of here. Where's the grave? Daddy, don't kill us. All you can do is is quit the session, bro. Just all supplies. all F4. Elite cheesy. Just go all F4, and then come back and do it again. That's all. That's all you can do, man. Or else we're gonna be stuck here. I mean. Oh, the supplies. Oh, hold on. Well, that doesn't, you see, the car isn't big enough for all three of us to get in. It's, it's a good idea, but... Oh, my God, dude. Oh, come on, Daddy, dude. quit. You're so annoying. I'm trying to do a mission. Oh, guess what? Just got all that guy's money. Yeah, we need a bigger vehicle. You know what I mean? We need one How much money did he have? Uh, 50 bucks. 
Yeah, we need a bigger oh one. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, four seater, correct. Go. All right, hurry up, bro. Let's go. Come on. Well, I can't get these supplies. That's the problem. Why not? They're not. Like, let me pick it up. That's why I said you're gonna have to just Alt F4. We're gonna have to start the whole thing again. Unless okay, it, um, I took your supplies, so you try to take the ones that I. Oh, you got rid of them. Yeah, you All right, did. let's see if it works now. Mm, what a freaking craziness, you guys! Let's see if we can pick them up now. Nope. Daddy, don't kill us. Try to help us do the mission. Yeah, they won't let me pick up the supplies, man. Uh, here, let me do this. Yeah, I told you, dude, you're gonna have to quit. Alt F4. Quit being stubborn, man. Alright. What does that do? Alt F4. Alt F4. Four. And see, I need to get, we need to get out and do this whole thing again, or else it's going to just be a bunch of crap, man. We're going to end up having nothing but problems. It's gotten wacky, man. It's like, all these people just want to come in and mod your shit. You know, I mess with you instead of just leaving you alone. All right, there we go. We solved that problem. Okay. Isn't this great? Ah! Okay. Can't take That's what I was trying to explain to him if he had just, um... Oh, I got two stars. I... Cops are all over it at the same time, man. All right. Hmm. How many freaking modders just came out of nowhere, man? Huh. Ah, Jupiter, okay. The problem is, we can do that, but um, at least Soapy's not going to be able to do any of his selling. Remember, because you got to be in a public session. So we can do that. We can get together. Let me go sell this car. 
Um, yeah, we can do that for just running around and doing our shit, you know, like getting in cars and goofing off and what you're doing right now, I'll come join you since I sell this car. But if he needs to sell anything, then we're going to have to go into a public one whether we want to or not. But just for running around, oh no, dude, that's a perfect idea. We could have done that in the first place. So let me come join on you. I just know I can, I think I can sell this car. I have two stars, so I think I can get rid of it. Well, if we don't have to, Here it's all based on, on what he needs. You and I are just running around getting all the cars. So we can do a closed session. That's perfect. Should be running better than ever. Yeah, so that's that's not a problem. We can do that together. I just want to make sure if he needs our help, we're there for him. Right? Yeah, if he doesn't need our help, shit, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. That's not a problem. You're enjoying getting the cars. I'm enjoying getting the cars. Right, that's what I'm saying. If he needs to sell, we don't want to screw him out of selling his shit. Oh, cool. There you go. Got a pink one. Pink and silver. See, now this one, I think Simon's going to want it. But you can keep these also. Remember I told you? If you get ones with two stars, you can actually keep it. You'll put it in your garage and keep it. If he doesn't want it. You might get down there and it says, and he might tell you he doesn't want it. So, just to let you know, I've been running around hitting up cars with two stars. Any car with two stars? Oh, Elite Soapy joined on me. So, I mean, you want to come join us? I'm back, guys. Wait, what'd you say? I'm talking to Jupiter in chat. I asked her if she wanted to come and join on us so we could keep doing your money making. Her and I are just interested in getting the cars. Oh, she's already back. All right. Oh, cheese? So I'm going to go see if Simon wants this car, because it's not my car. If you want this car, you can have this car. If you want it, it's not a personal vehicle. So where are you at? I'll come to you, or I'll meet you, I'll meet you. Yeah, because if you want these, I don't care. It's, you know, it's just a Sentinel, you know, so. I'm, I want to get an 811. I want to get a Pfeiffer 811 for free. I already have one of these. I have one exactly like this convertible. A purple one. But he may not want it. And it's not mine. All I did was, it's not my personal vehicle. It belongs to anybody, basically, at this point in time. Because, like I said, it's sort of bizarre. I don't ever remember that being like that until a few weeks ago. And it got weird and all of a sudden you can like keep cars as long as you got QCRs on them. Because I've, I've taken them a couple cars because I don't want them. And I'm like, well, I don't want them either. You don't want them? I don't want them? It's not like we have a personal problem here, bro. Oh, cheese is back in here. Yeah, she is. Back. Yeah, we came back. We we're gonna just do a closed session because all we're doing is Easter egg and you know getting cars and crap. And since you need to make money, we want to help you. The only way you can do that is you hire. Hey, y'all can do your Easter egg stuff. Well, yeah, but you need I'll to make try. money. We're not. We're, her and I aren't worried about making money. You're, we're trying to get your money up. So. You, know, you gotta get your nightclub going and spend the 1.4 million to upgrade the nightclub. Security. I kind of gave up on the nightclub. No. Yeah, see, see she's good with the money. You don't do any money. You gotta be brilliant. Nightclub is cool, man. 
it's a nice place to hang out, do all the dancing, and it has all that. Yeah, but you don't get like a lot of money off of it. I mean, you do, but like you have to do like a promotion, keep your. Well, that's not so much. It's the underground stuff. See, once you upgrade your club with the 1.4 million, then they start producing all the goods. See, all those goods are tied to the businesses that you own. The forgery, counterfeit, remember, bunker, all that. That's the nightclub is producing all those goods. The sporting goods, you know, weapon, all that shit. You really don't have to do anything at all. But the nightclub is going to do it all for you. Yep, Simon wanted this one. Okay. Yeah. So whenever you get a one with two stars, Should Simon will take them usually. Cool. All right, I'm heading to the airport to go get a plane and fly to my bunker, and I'm gonna we're gonna do a resupply for that. Okay. If you want to come and pick me up, cheesy, if you're close by. If not, I'll meet you guys over there. It's got the robo roof. No. Oh yeah. You know how long I drove cars in this? Oh, thanks. You know how long I drove cars? Oh, you can oh, you get, your, get your Santa outfit on. Look at you. It's so funny. Oh, my God. I can't wait till the snow comes. And, yes, I know you know how to do that, so don't, don't, don't even go there. But I can't wait till next month when the snow comes. All right, so what are we doing? Uh, you hired us? Oh, uh, you want me to do it through Motorcycle Club? Whatever you're doing, bro. You're, you're, whatever, we're here at your disposal. You know what I mean? Whatever you, whatever you need to get done. Y'all get that. Jeezy was on it before I could say anything. It's like, oh no, get out of here. Yep. All right. Where yes, do you want us to go? Bunker. Broken cheese. All right. I'll drive us over to a Hilo. We're gonna go steal a Hilo. We're gonna meet him up at the bunker. They'll go here to Merriweather. Do one of theirs. So I'll wait till you get back. I don't want to grab it and have you on pause or off, you know, using the head or getting something to drink. So I'll just park over here by Merriweather. When you get back, we'll run in there and we'll grab a chopper. I don't know if these planes can hold y'all in here, but... Oh, you're doing the cargo one? No, I'm just using a plane to get over to the bunker. Oh, yeah, nah, don't worry, bro. We're, we're going to grab a helicopter right here. We're at Merriweather. Eating a hot dog? You take your I've been trying to eat my breakfast of broken cheese for like two hours. My breakfast is ice cold. I have French toast and I'm sitting here it's ice cold. But even cold French toast tastes good because it's got the maple syrup on it. So, yeah, please eat. Everybody, like I said, people are used to me on my stream being casual. You know I mean, we don't... It's not like a big, you know, like... People know I stop and I eat and know help people and she devil what the hell happened well that game yeah she's having problems but there's her video card is left up damn oh sir. no don't tell me you crashed man in your plane let's not talk about that dude and you wanted us to go with you oh my god man Seriously, yeah, and you want? Yeah, it. I'll come and pick you guys up so we can all die together. Yeah, no, that's okay. I'm eating French toast, broken cheesy, and hot dog. You just go kamikaze all you want. <laughs> Holy cow! I'm running, y'all. Complete this crap! Wow, really? Of course, it's an indestructible fence. Breathe. Alright, well, we can't over. get a helicopter here because unfortunately it's one of those stupid gang things. So we'll go to the airport. We'll meet you there, bro. Plan B. 
I'm gonna go to the airport. It's all good though. If I'm not there yet, you have to just Don't worry, we're still eating. She's eating, I'm eating. The audience is killing. We're not going anywhere. It's still early, man. It's only 4 o'clock in the afternoon here. I'm going to do six or seven hours on the screen, please. Not longer. Yeah, it's very nice to run into both of you today, though. Very pleasant. Be looking for a sidekick. I'm looking for a sidekick. I lost my other sidekick. Yeah, and then hell, she that will like my sis. But since she lives in India, we have this 10 hour time difference, so it's like crazy trying to fly. So, yeah, if you're looking for a somebody to, to, to drag around the map, drag my eyes around. Well, Sophie, man, I, I, to be honest, I was like, I felt bad because I could tell, like, he was, like, talking to himself when I first joined. He's like, oh, I gotta do this, and I gotta do that. I don't know how to do this. But, but then he was first, I was like, oh, man, I'm gonna help this guy. Like, this is good. I said, because I know what's gonna happen. So he's gonna join the server, and they're gonna take advantage of him, and then if he's killing him, he's gonna get frustrated. This is the worst time of the day right now. 3.13. Now the sh shuns. The sun is shining right in my freaking face. Oh, you must be in central, central U.S. I'm like, because I'm in Maine, so 4.30 for me. 4.13. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not trying to be nosy, but... Tennessee right now. Three. Three. Yeah, yeah, do y'all have the heli yet? Yes, sir. Alright, I'm gonna come to y'all. Car. Ring truck. Yeah, the AIE, AIE will tell you, man. We all talk shit. Once you get, like I said, this is more like a family get together. You know what I mean? As you can probably tell. Everybody's pretty casual. Everybody in the chat's casual. We all know each other. Occasionally we get new, you know, people, which is great. But you gotta like our style of play and our style of chat and, you know, how laid back. We're not like speed runners. You know, speedrunning is cool, but schools, this ain't a speedrunning game. To pay union this pensions. is a game of logistics, but man. Is still the place you know, so if you want, you know, for me, I've only been playing the online and for a couple months. To a stage, because a I just never really got into it. Like, like a few months, months ago, I got back into it and realized how much fun it was and how much it changed. And I was like, hell yeah, man, I'm going to do this. get my criminal enterprise going and... So we had a good time, man, the last few months getting to do all this fun stuff. Plus, you got our own Frogger. That was a, that's the freebie one you get, folks. It's free Frogger. You just have to have some place to land or be careful. Like, get used to having it spawn. Because what'll happen is... You, yeah, well, you can call that stupid thing up, and then it won't spawn where you think it's going to spawn. You know what I mean? Like, it may spawn at the frickin' airport, which is five kilometers away, and you don't want it to spawn there, so. Why? I don't know. But it does. What is this kid doing right now? What's up? Oh, what's up? I thought that was a civilian. Alright. 
Are you eating your? Oh my Welcome god, back. we have like a Mantha. Uh, uh, Christmas outfit on. Wait, I invited y'all, right? Yeah. Yep. So what's going on, Max? Uh. Why do I have a one star? Alright, let's go to the bunker. Oh, sorry, the broken teeth. Flip-flops on? Well, yeah, but you're all casual. On. You look good and you got your Santa's helper's outfit on, so you look cool. I could go all beachy and stuff, but... i do that later. What's gonna happen is we're gonna blow up because of a tree. I'm, gonna, all right. I'm calling it right now. Can I get an invite to the CEO? Oh, we're in a motorcycle club. Like, we're just down by you. So. The worst part. Oh, I did pretty good on that line there. Do you want me to enter alone? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Oh, I have 108 grand in stock. Yeah, you were right. That does go fast with that research. Okay. Three. Nice. Now, yeah, look at Los Santos and see how much you can sell it for in Los Santos. Because right. you have four of us, so at this point, you should let you should keep stealing supplies. And let it get up around four or five hundred thousand, because then we'll get three vehicles to deliver. But it, it's really fast. <laughs> yeah, we can sell it to Los Santos for one hundred sixty-two thousand so right now. All right, let's steal some supplies. I can't wait till Christmas. I don't know what happened on my Christmas stuff, man. My Christmas outfits. I gotta go find my Santa one. I have a Santa one too. I don't know where the hell it's at. When did you start playing? 
Remember they gave us that drunk Santa head and all that? <laughs> well, they gave us that a couple years ago. They gave us this, that Santa. Okay, there's an outlaw motorcycle gang moving weapons around the state. As far as we're concerned, they're fair so game. Take supply? our buggy, oh, okay. take them out, they and salvage the hardware. All right, so you know how I we did this, remember? Us. You go... You can, you can either use this and try to land, or you can go right up the street to the police station and see if there's a buzzer attack shop or there. All up. Huh. All right. Cool. Oh, nice. You, where'd you get that outfit? You gonna get in? Th this, I won't let me. My Why game's not? glitched. It's all right. Oh, man. We have to destroy the trucks. Wait, do you want to go over here to get the missile one? Yep, there's one here. Let's see if it spawns up for you. No. Oh, regular one. Not to fly away and fly back again. It'll spawn. It just takes a couple tries. You usually go up and down the block a couple Wait. times and it'll spawn. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. I see uh -huh. my light flash before my eyes. Not this has like a missile, missile right? chopper to me, man. Not at all. No. Okay. No. But we'll yeah, y'all can drive that one because you don't want to die with me. All right. Good. We'll go. We'll go start taking out the truck. And we'll meet you there. It comes with the Liberator. Cool outfit. Hey, Tusa, what's going on there, Tusa? Yeah, we're playing a little uh, GTA 5 this evening. There's only four trucks left. Five, actually. Oh, we don't have to listen to this, Broken Keys. You can put on whatever you want. I just... I flipped through the radio, so I'm one of those radio flipper ones. Are you live streaming? Yes, I am. On YouTube. You guys want me to help you with this? <laughs> Do whatever you can. Like someone yeah, this would be pretty easy with all these trucks if we all go after separate trucks. It should take you long to blow up all these trucks. You should be able to go right to the sheriff station and grab another helicopter. Though there's like three of them sitting there too. And then you guys are together. Four supplies, right? Copy that. We're gonna head straight up to the air. It's perfect to be that one right there. Perfect. Yeah, you guys go after the other two. 
Um, elite, Sophie. Right now. Yeah, see the ones off to the west, off by the beach. There's two over there. We're right on your side. Get this one on the interstate. Yep. Right there, Kim. <laughs> the hell was that? Um, uh. I just got killed. One of the trucks ran. Okay. You guys crack me up, man. I got my insurance hey, policy all paid up. No, mine's not gone. That's all I can say. He also. Just get, let's so get out of here, TZ, man, before, before something here, else wait, nefarious wait, 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 wait. happens Let me get to in. us. <laughs> no, get out okay, of here, supplies. man. You don't know how to fly? Wait, guys, come pick me up. Oh, there's only one more. Just go get that and come pick me up. Oh, my. Well, there's two more supplies that we have to get, so I'm assuming they're in this other truck there goes over here. My supplies. Yeah, oh I'm my god, dude. Why is everybody. Dude, I keep, people keep killing me. Do you have all the supplies over there? <coughs> we have one. Alright, so, got it. That's a truck right at our 12 o'clock. Need to get back up on that bridge to get the supplies. All right, no problem, dude. Take your time, man. You got time. You got 23 minutes, man. We got time. Don't worry, bro. It's all good. Got him, QZ? Oh, shit. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Got him. Where do you need to go? Just go to them. I didn't mean to kill you on my screen, it glitched out. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up, man. Yeah, yeah we're out of here, man. Here, pick me up. Pick, pick me up. Okay, just let me get these supplies that I just had. Guys me up. All right, here's the last one. Is right there, coming right at us right now. Hey, just go super fast. No problem. We got it, man. We got it. We got it together. Someone else get those supplies. Yeah, well, I already have. I already, I already have them. You want to grab them, cheesy? I already got one. I can't pick it up. Somebody else have to grab it. Before you start a new mission, uh, invite me to your thing so I can do the mission. Oh, you don't have like the actual mission? No, yeah, I can't. Come pick on, cheesy. Up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, it's under the truck. Okay, cheesy, so knock the truck out of the way. Here, here, move it, move out of the way. <laughs> Get your ray gun out. You guys got that stupid ray gun you can shoot to knock the truck out of the way? Yeah, that. Oh my god. That is so funny. So we can't get the supplies. There it goes. I just got him. Nice. Oh! No, not on my helicopter. Not on my watch, soldier. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we can't get in. Why not? Oh, wait. Was that for che here, Cheese? You can get in the front. I'll get in the back. Oh 
Oh my god. Uh, I can hey, spawn whoa. a new chopper. Nope. Okay, yeah, cheese. You can get in the front. You can get in the front. One cheese. Cause that, it let me in this one. I just won't let let it get. Nice. I don't know why it's not like it. cheese in any of the seats. Here, cheese. Just get in the blue car, I guess. No, nope, she's coming. Oh, she's... cheese is on. Oh. No. Nope. Wait. Oh, she in? She, 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 oh, she's in. She's in. Okay, she's, she's in. in. Oh <sighs> All right, folks. <laughs> Driving the pants. All right, so, so. Yes. Uh -oh. What you are watching is live, folks. It's not a recording. We couldn't make this shit up if we tried. <laughs> not even. <laughs> we have to wet my ass? Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Smack that booty. Yeah, so you see, um, Elite Sophie, if you, if you nix the research, how fast you can go to supplies and get your money up, right? Every few hours you can get a couple hundred K. Literally about every three hours you get about two hundred K. Yeah. So you have to do five supply runs. And that, that'll make you about two hundred. Unless you sell them off Santos. Then you can get more but No, I'm not getting that. But you gotta remember that, you know, if you get over four hundred it's gonna take two vehicles. You don't do it by yourself. And you're rocking. Oh, repel? How do I repel? Oh, repel, repel. what? Oh, Whoa. you're repelling down? Yeah, you're gonna repel. Oh, yeah, you're repelling? Nice, alright. Cool. Pulling a she devil on me, man. She devil loves oh, to repel out of the helicopter. So, you okay? Send me an invite. Thanks. Another successful operation. No, I'm not spending nice. $20. Dollars. Pickaxes too, I don't care. Hell yeah. Package re All right, you want to get some more supplies for this place? Oh, yeah. Get it all the way up. Yep. Fill it all the way up, bro. I just got to rank up to a king. Fill it to the rim, Hold baby. On. Send, send me an invite so I can help you. No. I, I sent you one. <laughs> just, just joking, bro. Did you get it? So where is that cheese? No. He was going to show me a glitch here. Yeah, remember you gotta pick the player's name and do it that way, man. I did. Yeah, when you I go in your... to it. Yep. Friends, no. Oh, you gotta leave and come back? Alright. You get that one? Oh, it just went up to 114. There was actually already at that. Cool.
Or can only three people be in my... Left. All right. So here you go. I sent you another Jupiter. one. Jupiter. Here's, um... Here, Discord you can just follow us since it's not letting you. Be the truck one because they just did that, so it's gonna be the supplies easy. you're looking for are under law enforcement supervision. Cool, let's see if we can get a tap chopper for you. Yeah, let's see if there's a tap chopper there. If we need those missiles, that'd be great. Yep. I'm still loading out of here. Oh, do me a favor, bro. You can't mod in my game, man. I'm streaming live, dude. Do not do this or I'm gonna leave. You, you realize that I'm streaming on fucking YouTube and you're fucking modding, man. You wanted me to lose my Rockstar account? You, you do realize, bro, that I'm streaming, right? And that modding is illegal. And by me, you, you can't do this in my game, bro. Period, man. No modding, man. You guys can mod privately all day long. That's cool. But you can't do it in my game, man. You, you get me in trouble, man. I'm going to be highly upset. So please. No modding, man. Wait, did he spawn on this thing or is this the vehicle? No, he effed up that thing. We get in this thing and we have to go get in that helicopter Dude. if it's over there. Yeah, Where did guys, he spawn you, this you, I don't want to jeopardize my account, man. Wait, did he spawn in that boom buggy? So yeah, please, do me a favor. No modding while I'm streaming while I'm with you guys. You want to mod, please go do that someplace else, man. I don't want to get myself in trouble, bro. Please. If we do have the missile one, we can get a four-star wanted level easy. Oh, well, I can get one of these vehicles. All I got to do is just drive on the block and one on the bottom over there. And just do that and go these guys up there. Yeah, you gotta There's understand, two. man. It's like, I mean, modding, modding's not good because modding's just good at cheating, man. So, I can't be having that shit on a live fucking stream, man. That's God insane, dude. Yeah, please. There's another helicopter if you want to get that yeah, I'm gonna one. go back over there. I'm, I'm gonna turn my mods off. I'll restart my game. Dude, stop, bro. Will you stop fucking shoot? Oh, dude, man. Come on, man. <clears throat> I'm trying to spawn a helicopter and, you got the, and you're shooting everything so the police are showing up. So how am I supposed to spawn a helicopter, bro? Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were spawning one. Yeah, you can't, you can't just like, we're right in the middle of doing a mission. You can't just fly around shooting the shit out of everything. And you're on a timer. Right? You gotta watch the timer. But yeah, you can't. You can't Wait, are you, gotta, you on the one to level two? No, what I'm trying to do is spawn you a little buzzer to attack helicopter. But in the meantime, you can just like start heading towards the mission, see, because... 
that. You don't want the police chasing us and shit. That's not good. That's not cool. That's cool for like when you're just dicking around and you're not on a mission and all that. And you just want to go do goof off and let the police, you know, chase you. That's cool. But when you're on a mission, the only you wanna... reason I started shooting is I, I, I didn't even know you were going to spawn in a vehicle. I was just No, but I'm just saying you don't star. randomly just start shooting because what happens is they'll get the heat on us when we're trying to do a mission and we're together then... It just, it convolutes what we're trying to accomplish, which is... Okay, I lost the wanted level. Yeah, so it's cool. Like I said, I, I'm all for shooting the fuck out of the police. Trust me. But not when we're right in the middle of something. Then we'll go ahead and shoot the fuck out of the Yeah, remember I told you if you drive back and forth a couple of times, um, you can get a buzzer to, to spawn up. Now what the fuck happened, man? Uh, something happened. What's up, Kyle? My session went wacky. See you later, Sally. Get mad at me. Hey, I actually finished my breakfast after four hours. What's going on, Kyle? How are you today? Is, is me what, AIE? Bogey, what do you want, man? I don't have nothing for you. What? I don't have nothing for you. What do you want? Oh, that AIE? Yeah, no, nope, that was... I wasn't you. Well, Elite... Elite was running that session, so he might have gotten disconnected. Or I got kicked by the other guy that was in there with him, kicked me. I think your friend... Um, Elite's friend kicked me out, Jupiter. Wait, what happened? What, how did, what happened when you left? What just happened? Oh, you're in here with me Sergeant. now? Sergeant. Yeah. Yeah, who, what happened? You, like, you're, disappeared. I think your friend kicked me out. No, but he got kicked out, too. Wow. Huh. I don't Weird. even know what just happened. I don't either. I think cheese. Cheese is known. That was weird. Oh, yeah. No problem, cheese. I'll invite cheese. Also, here's... here's 
Here you go, cheese. There's a link. there and join. Yeah, this way you guys can, I don't use it for chatting, but we could if we had to, you know, for the Discord. But you see I have a large Discord channel. It's got a lot of categories there for gaming and, you know, everything. You know what I mean? So feel free to put shit wherever it goes. If you see I have a game that I don't have there and you want me to add it, I can add it for you. Cool. All right, do you want to hire us again and we'll continue doing that adventure one more time for you? Uh, sure. Okay. I just went into my bunker and I'm just constantly loading. <laughs> It'll Wait, be okay, okay. bro. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'll have to restart. <coughs> but everyone, I appreciate you guys hanging out on the chat with us today and allowing us to run around and just goof off and not really do anything too serious. sort of having a good time trying to pull up these vehicles. There's Easter egg vehicles that spawn here too, so after we do the bunker run, I can show you guys a couple more vehicles that what the fuck? you can get for free. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart my game. I'll be right back. No problem. Where are you at, TZ? You close by? Oh, she's probably just joining me too. Let me go get him attacked in the bouncer. Welcome back, TV. So he had to, um, Soapy had to restart because his game's acting stupid. So I got an attack chopper over here for him. So when he starts his bunker ship, we'll have an attack chopper. And then, um, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Let's. Do that. Not on the stream. Not me. Sounds great. Where are you at? Look on the map and see where you're at. Oh, you're all the way down there. Okay, holy cow.
Oh no, it's fine. No, that's fine. We can we can do that. We can come down there to you. That Santa is cool with a modder, man. I'm proud of it. Alright, well, let's, let's check all this out here. Vanilla Unicorn. I'll stop the stream for a few minutes and we'll come back. Yeah, because one day I was doing, you have to do 25 lap dances to unlock this one tattoo that I, that I wanted to get. So I was doing the last couple lap dances and somebody got reported me on YouTube for inappropriate content. I'm like, it's in the freaking game. It's like, what the hell? It's not like I'm not, you know, it's like... Well, 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 yeah, so... Hi, this is Jay Rock. Right now, yeah, we just do it that way. Hands. People can handle it for a few minutes. So we'll turn it for you. We've got it up loud. It's worldwide and, and music from Swindle, music from Mana. Time for a trip into the history books, into the heritage, the music of Candido and Donald Bird on the Oh no. Nope, that's not a problem. Where you at? Okay, so you're you're right here. You're right around the corner, right? Nope, I'm gonna get you. Nope, not a problem at all. I'm not worried. Is that your car down there? Whoa. Going on with my game. Ah, oh, shit balls, man. God damn it. Shit balls. Hold on. I don't know. <laughs> they're having a bit. They're having a busy day at Rockstar today. Game crash. Yeah, game crash. So I'll be right back. <laughs> We're gonna start start this stream up again here. Weird, huh? I think it has a lot to do with all the modders that are coming into the game. All those people are modding and acting stupid and shit. And I think it's cool. Well, I hope so. Yeah, because the same thing happened to um, Elite Soapy. His game sort of crashed on him, too. So I think it was that modder dude that just left. I think he was messing with us. Dickheads.
loading back in. What bogey? Yeah, I know. You know how everybody jokes about, oh yeah, I was loading into the game and I went and fixed myself some lunch and then took a shower and, you know, read War and Peace and painted my house and mowed my lawns and <laughs> came back in and it was still loading. One funny thing about the game is how long it takes to load in. It's always a big joke. But it's always been like that. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's people say, oh, it takes that long. I'm like, dude, it's like it's one of the longest loading games I've ever seen load. You know, it like takes a long time to load. But hey man, that's all just how it works, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Sounds good. Hopefully we get we get in here before GTA 6 comes out, right? Too bad that was only a five minute loading screen that time so yeah all right come on down the weather's fine let me get the club Yes, ma'am, I'm here. My or game, so I was going to be in here earlier, but um, I was joining your server and my game crashed again. My so game crashed, too. Hey, Broken Seed. Welcome. Yeah, mine crashed, too. I think it was that modder dude. We had a we had a modder in here with us. Even his oh, yeah. tag was even, you know, ultra, uh, ultra modding or un whatever the hell it's going on his tag. So. And when, as soon as he left, I kicked him. And then my game crashed. Alright, y'all ready to do those missions? Wait, I need to invite y'all first. Unless y'all want to do those cars. Because I don't really care right now. No, no, go check your supplies. And see, what, see, you can invite us and then do the supply thing. You're helping your girlfriend with money okay, so again, Thomas Lee? You rock dog. Yeah, all you have to do is hire us and then pick the supply run and it doesn't matter on the map where we have to go, we can just go there. You know, and beat you to like it'll show up. So we don't physically have to go all the way to the bunker. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. huh? I'm gonna go to this police station. I can get up this daggum hill. And I'm gonna, yeah, just, you know, we're fine you, on supplies. You gotta pick us before you pick your supply run, though. So you gotta hire us first. Oh, yeah. 
Wait, yeah. do you want to fill up the bunker supplies all the way and then do the next one? Where do you want to go? It's the next all business? up to you, bro. You right. do your bunker until you're ready to sell. You know what I mean? But that's, that's all, right. all on you. I'm just trying to get together with uh, the broken keys so we can do our exploit here. Up here to the bunker real quick. But you gotta hire us first before you do anything. Don't go in there and start doing stealing supply runs without hiring us. So that's what it work, right? There you go. Good. Yeah, if you don't hire us, we'll get you screwed. Alright, cool. Now, okay, now we got together. Is that you down there, Cheesy, at your office? Yes. Oh my god, this is so fun. Alright, hold on. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is... Wait, are you in? Hold Did on, you stick no. in? Alright everybody, I'll be right back in a